because I got uh, Gilbert Arenas in the backstage. Are y'all comfortable with uh, telling him y'all grievances? Please bring him up. Right. Yes. All right, we um, but we we I, I want to keep and, this civil, and we're gonna be adults, and we're gonna be respectable amongst each other. There's no craziness that you that you don't have to worry about ears. Okay. I, I was just throwing it out there. I yeah. know you. Did. And I just want to close the door on that other issue because I was triggered by his dire warning about me and whether or not I would abuse my power, knowing. The powers he's abused with my abuser and his abuser with no evidence stop questioning my black excellence and just worry about you when somebody come to you are you abusing power because you found yourself in court i haven't found myself in court for any actions i've taken against anybody uh criminally get on my nerves okay Okay, Gilbert, um, I see you was in the uh, comments and you were mentioning freedom of speech and they can't sue. Do you want to elaborate over that? Um, you can't sue someone for freedom of speech. Um, you can't sue someone for an opinion about you. It's their opinion and their opinion only. So you cannot sue someone for an opinion about you. So if you call me a deadbeat dickhead or whatever you want to call me, I can't sue you for that. Um, everything okay, you got. Steve, you said you can sue me for calling you a uh, uh, queen, 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 uh, 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 queen, queen. Let him finish. Let him finish. So when you're talking about Go ahead. Defamation, you what you're saying? when you, I mean, if you if you look at my track record in court, I am 55 and 0. I've won multiple discrimination. Um, Shit, whatever, whatever case. Um, if you can't prove it, you can't win it. So if I say you have an STD, you can prove if you have or don't have that. You can sue for that. If I say you're abusing power, that's my opinion of what you're doing. You can't sue me for that. How do you prove you are or you aren't? He can speak so for if, himself. He can speak for himself. A man that Queen, was Queen, Queen, no Queen, 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 please. I know it triggers you. Let him finish and then we will let you respond. Please. But, but again, it's still an opinion. You can't you can't take me to court for my opinion. Just like you have an opinion about me. How you guys have opinions about what I do, what I'm doing. I can't sue you for those opinions. It works both ways. So unless you have evidence of something you can prove. So when you're saying, oh, it's my opinion, I believe that's not a fact. Okay, yeah, now go ahead. Okay, go. What is it to you what I was discussing about another man? I didn't say you was talking about. I don't know who you're talking about. Oh, I just see my name in the comments. Hold on, real quick. She asked you a real simple question, brother. Uh, what is it to you of her suing any man? It doesn't matter if she feeling violated. What is it to you to stop a woman from feeling violated? I'm, and going I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. Whether, hold on, hold on. Whether she loses, wins, whether it's a dumb idea or anything, what is it to you? As an NBA player that doesn't have anything to do with it, what is it to you? That's that's the, a clear question. It's, it has nothing. It has nothing to do with me. I don't. I don't give a shit whether or not. I'm just giving you information to say that you you're gonna don't waste your time. Get some hard facts. You know, don't waste your time. Got to remember, there's there's other people in the audience besides us, right? Either we're going to teach them what's real or we can keep throwing around fantasy stuff. I'm telling you, you from experience. Tell, how can you tell us, Gibbert, what we've been through is a damn fantasy? Well, let me tell you something. And I, Gilbert, I need you to know this. 
until each and every last one of you and the people in the chat has been through what Queen Regina, Doe Eyes, and I has been through, there's nobody going to be able to tell me what I can and cannot do and what will happen or uh, what, what won't happen. I'm going to let a judge, a court, a law, the authorities tell me that. I'm not going to take no, no offense, advice from a give of arenas, from anybody in the chat and no damn body else. I'm going to let a paid legal attorney tell me that and let the judicial system make the final decision. We going to do what we needs to do. When this happened to each and every last one of you all, then you all can speak on it. Because see, it has not. It has not hit your door. Y'all think it's just YouTube, and it was. But you all chose to take it off YouTube because of personal issues that you all have with one individual, which, in my opinion, from what I gathered, nobody done nothing to nobody. Now, Gilbert, you're going to talk, you're going to listen to me today because I got you here now. I want to know why you felt that it was, and this is whole, some totally different in ears. If I come disrespectful, you just tell me, Sister T, chill. Because, see, this is just me talking. It's, talk your, it's your chance to talk right now. He got to wait till you finish everything you got to say. And I would appreciate it. Everybody listen to everything you got to say before they talk. But finish out what you got to say, and then we'll let Gibber respond. Because I talk to my sons and people that are in the room just like this, like I'm talking to you. When you made, I had no issue with you. And I had, I just thought it was just, just two men going at it. And regardless of what you think, I knew it was a fucking woman. And I still think it's a woman, but it ain't my business. But I just didn't like the idea of you saying that you would put a gun to Kwame Brown's throat. That right there did something to me. I saw your face, your body movement, all of that. That's what have me with an issue with you today. I'm gonna tell you, um, that's that's my problem. And then you never apologize. You never acknowledge what you did was wrong. You thought it was funny. And then you coming on these YouTube streets doing what you're doing, regardless of what anybody say. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I know what you're doing and it's wrong. So when you did that and said that, when you say, why Sister T got a problem with me? That's the problem I had with you. And then you took and ran whatever, sent text message to Sino and all this other stuff. When I ask you to talk to me, see, I'm the type of person, I like to be talked behind the scenes. If we cool, you out of all people could find me. I IG'd you, you did not respond. So I only reach out that Sister T one time. I don't keep reaching out. I be saying, okay, this nigga, this woman, she heard me, he heard me. They want to reach back, they can if they don't, I know the answer. So you gave me my answer. And in that, in my opinion, that was disrespect because you know me, of me, and you been talking about me, texting about me. Why not talk to me behind the scenes instead of you do it, what you did? You dealt with all these old low budget, in my opinion, crumb snatch a crab in a barrel, stirred up this shit because they ain't got a pot to piss in. Uh, one to throw out, in my opinion, rather than you coming to Sister T and addressing Sister T. I'm real. And I want to go on this camera, but I got hair rollers in my head. That's the only reason. I hate being behind here talking to you because you really need to see my face. You really do. I may take my hair rollers out and talk to you later after everybody else do. But you need to talk to me behind the scenes. I'm not going to show my you know what on here because we are online. And I am a lady. I act the same all day, every day. I know how to cut up. I know how to be a lady. But me and you, we need to talk behind the scenes because I want to tell you a whole new one. But as a man, I got to, I need to respect you regardless of how you act or how you betray yourself on these streets. But I'm going to deal with your ass offline and I'm going to tell you what I feel and you going to listen. You gonna listen because you don't tell another black man online or offline that you gonna stick a gun to their throat and mean it like you did. I felt that shit. I'm just letting you know. It's not funny. That's what we're so, gonna discuss. So, now I'm gonna let you talk. So let me get this straight. You're mad at me because what I said to another man has I, nothing to do with you him i just told you why i was mad that's I all am, i got, I got so that's why i got let i me, got no, from no, it no, that me, i got a cam up so what I am, and him, excuse the way i look y'all excuse me i am upset with you it just so happened 
to be a Kwame Brown. It could have been ears. It could have been another man saying it to you. But you a black man. That you're going to stick a gun to his throat and mean it. I said I don't care if it was Kwame. It just happened to be Kwame. It could have been my son. It could have been you. It could have been your son. It could have been ears. It could have been anybody in this chat. You don't understand as a black man. To say that when we got enough of us out here killing each other for no reason. Yes, that bothered me. And for you to be the man of your statue when I was looking at you a whole nother way, only because you might have had issues with a man for something in the past, that's all. But when you did and said that, yeah, that did something to me. And stop trying to put it on a damn Kwame Brown. This has nothing to do with Kwame Brown. It just so happened to, yeah. It just so happened it was him. So well, I wouldn't have said it. To well, I wouldn't have said, said it to any happen. other man. Baby, listen. I say again. If they said it about Gibbon Arenas and you are another man, I would have had an issue with it. Stop making it about Kwame Brown. You know what you said and did. Everybody else said. But let's move on. You did other shit after that. <laughs> to who? Oh my goodness, baby. To the same person, right? You, so you, again, 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 your issue with baby. me. Gilbert, your Gilbert. issue with me is because I have an issue with someone else. You don't see it. You really don't see it. What's so, so funny done. is all of, all of you guys hate me because of me and Kwame. Problem. Wow. I, I don't hate you. Your problem I, is no, not I, I, no, I, have my, I speak for me. I, hey, I'm a, I'm a, I don't hate on, you. Let me, let me give, me my, give me my opinion about him. I don't hate you. I don't have a problem with you. Now, mm -hmm. I do have an opinion about you, behavior or whatever, but that's okay. just my opinion. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But as far as just having like a hatred for you or a dislike or any of that stuff, I don't have that. Uh, Kwame's problems are not my problems, oh, but I, you I can't you. have an opinion about it. So, Gilbert, are you saying what you've been doing and what you have done? None of this. I'm just saying what you have involved yourself. You think this not wrong? is right to people, bringing other people into your mess with who's, Kwame? Wait, wait, who's other people into my mess? There's, I had, there's, why did there's you, only one person in my mess, and that's Okay, Kwame so Brown. why didn't you leave me out of it? Because you brought Queen Regina, me into it. Yes, and I'm gonna tell you again, because for Where some you? reason you talking about you give advice. Who the hell asked you for any, any kind of advice for anybody? He did. He asked me. Okay. He asked me okay. for a lawyer. So, I said, yeah. "You don't you need a lawyer." You ain't no damn lawyer. You ain't no damn lawyer. You don't have credentials in being an attorney. But that has, that's neither here or there. I keep telling you what you don't get, and it doesn't matter. That's why I say I want to talk to you off the scene because I don't want to put my butt my foot in your ass because you need a talking to you honestly don't see what the hell you are doing and that's the sad part about it you think everything is funny you think it's a joke and you think for some reason that it's okay with what you're doing when it's not okay it don't what matter am I do? what am i doing it don't matter who it is why you keep bringing everybody else involved there's no everybody people. there's you no everybody lie. else that's all you've been person. doing going up and down these youtube streets bringing everybody involved if it's just supposed to be between you and uh, kwame why can't you just keep it between you and Khan? why you got to bring everybody else involved who's everybody else well, if you don't know, we ain't gonna play this game. I'm gonna deal with you offline. I mean, you're gonna say, I'm I mean, a, if you're I'm gonna, gonna make put myself statement, on mute, because this nigga think I'm you're just making statements else. at this point. You're making uh, statements. I've been, I've been, Mr. I've been Mingers. on panels, and my panels is about the same one man who talks about me. Okay. All you guys Mr. have made Mingers a video about me. See, I can be let the him, dickhead him, and spaz on everyone. Mr. You Mingers. guys. Each of you guys made a video on me personally. I've never done actually anything to you guys. Not Kryptonite, not um, not Damn D, um, Gravity Takeout, Sister T. I have never made a video attacking you guys. You guys have actually attacked me. Mr. I give Rinas? my energy to the same one person. This is Mr. Arenas. Yes. Do you hate me? Uh, no. Have I said anything bad about you? Okay, I, w I don't hate you. That's a strong word, so don't but, say that. I'm really fond of you, and you know that behind the scenes. I really am fond of you. You're a very nice gentleman um, offline, uh, or at least in the Instagrams. You know what I'm saying? 
So don't say that. I hate but that's you. what I said. I, I'm 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 nice to everyone yeah. besides the one person. I don't so want you to guys are you. Yeah. I, I, I don't well, want apparently to you ain't that nice to little girls. <laughs> oh, next. Oh, my nieces. Yeah, yeah. I just want to have uh, uh, interactions with you separate with that because I told you that yesterday. I'm in a business relationship. I'm not going to discuss my boss with anybody. Oh. That's what blue collar workers we we don't do that. Now I don't know about nobody with money. I don't and and then I'm loyal even without money. So let's stop. I, I'm just trying to you know I get good information from you about certain things, and you allow me to be me, uh, just like ears. The only thing you do that probably triggers me is that when we have those interactions, I believe sometimes they're genuine. But then you'll go on to the state drunks panel or Mr. Fair You. She don't got PTSD or she this, she that. And and I mean, it may be a joke to you, but I'm a genuine person. I wouldn't uh, mount a panel uh, and then start talking. Well, you know what I said about you today is from a nursing perspective. I'm concerned about your gait and this size you are. You know this not healthy now. And your co-host is not healthy. It's cholesterol. So I just want to, you know, deal with that. It's not no personal digs that I've ever taken. I am concerned about you, and I want you to have real people around you that are around you not related to money. I totally agree. Okay. All right. I totally agree. Yeah, but really, you just need to, you need to just, for real, because see, I'm very, and I may, I may be a very emotional because you're dealing with this person, and I just don't understand why you associate yourself with this person, and that you will help this person in any way. Oh, I can explain. Especially to two women that did nothing to you. And I'm going to be honest with you, that's why I'm very emotional with you, and I can't say too much, because this is what these people in the chat and everybody want to hear, and I'm not going to go there. I still like to stay respectful when it comes to men, but I need to let you know how firm and how serious I am about this. And we're going to discuss it, and I know we are, so it doesn't matter what people in the chat or anywhere else behind the scenes say, because I got to deal with you on another level. And that's just like, I am a real person and I'm sister T and I'm going to be your auntie, but I'm going to tell you the truth when I do it. But this guy, this has got to do, you got to do better because you are a good person, believe it or not. For some reason, you had things happen to you in real life and only you know that. This is me not knowing you. This is what I'm seeing, what you have shown for years. And you, I actually looked into you and I didn't even know you, Gilbert, but I know it's in you. It is. For some reason, you just fighting it and you haven't been touched, in my opinion, that you can be a good person. And somebody need to let you know this. Seriously, Gilbert, for real. If you put in the energy that you do to to, to uh, destroy people or, or to turn, in my opinion, people uh, with your so-called money, blood money. If you used it for the good. Blood money? Yes. A, this is, didn't I just I'm say a, this, Sister T? Pablo opinion? Escobar now? Didn't I just say this is my opinion? That's all. Okay? I mean, blood money I'm, comes I'm not always people. right. I'm not always right. I'm saying you I'm can just use that money, money for the good. But so well, that's know. how I'm feeling right now. That I'm, I kill people when for you dealing with When you dealing with the state drunk, and you are supporting the state drunk, I think you are dealing with blood money. Yes. Now I'm going to shut up and let you speak. Okay, so the problem, I think the biggest problem here is you guys are not asking the same one question that needs to be asked from the day I got here. What is, if I'm a nice person, to 99.9% .9 of everybody. If I ask the same one man that you guys all support for opportunities, hey, I got a job for you, I got a job for you, and they keep falling apart, and me and him are staying in this attack mode, what is he doing offline for me to keep coming back here? You guys are not asking yourselves that. All you're doing is hearing this man go on the panel three or four times talking his shit that I'm doing back. He's never okay. blocked me. Okay, Gilbert, let me ask you. Let me ask you right now. 
the answer that question since you threw it out there. We're listening. I said, I mean, you would think by now, I'm pretty sure, if I was bugging you guys behind the scenes like I do, long messages, you would block me, right? Gilbert, I, I, I don't, I don't why, know. Why haven't, why hasn't he blocked me? How come I can text this man and he well, can show you my text? Tell us he texts me bragging and poking, and soon as I come back, he posts that and shows you guys. Okay, That's all so he's well, doing. Well, can you tell us why it is why? that, uh, to the answer to your question? Because, I mean, we don't want to guess. Listen, I'm a competitor. I can't turn it off, right? I can't turn it off. So we know each other's strengths and flaws. So all he does is poke, poke, poke. And when I come back, content for him. That's all he does. Like his next video, he's gonna show you a hundred text messages, but he's not gonna show you the hundred check, the hundred text messages he sent to me. He just shows you what I send to him, not realizing it's a two-way street. It's a conversation. You gotta remember, this is a behind the scenes talking. We talk our shit behind the scenes. He makes it public for the opinion. So you wanna do business with do you wanna do business with him, don't you, Gilbert? No. Is that what this is all about? Because that's what it sounds like to me. You say that you keep reaching out, trying. I'm just saying what because you said. Because I, you that's what I do. I help yeah, that, that kind of what it sounds like to me too. I, I, from what you said on Mr. Fair Uses panel, it sounds like you said you wanted to do business with him, and what it sounds like that. I mean, maybe I could be wrong. Me but too. He's, Listen, if, it's listen. not every every opportunity I shot to him. He doesn't turn, like he tells you he turns them down. No, he tells me I need to apologize for comments, which I'm not going to do. That's, okay, why well, we have, not, that's why he doesn't have a reality show. That's why he doesn't have a documentary coming out. It's because I'm not going to apologize for shit you start. If you but started, is it his choice if he wants that opportunity or not? If, he, if he's just fine with what he's doing, who are you to tell him, hey, I got something better for you if he's fine with just what he's doing? Who said he's fine with what he's doing? He's telling you he's, he's fine, fine with it. You know that. He says he's fine with it. He says he's fine with it. He went he went viral without any help. Okay, so why would, not, need help? why would he need help now? Has if you listen to whatever he says, he says it out of his mouth. I would be with Fubo if Gilbert apologized. I would be okay with this rap battle if Gilbert apologized. If you get rid of Mr. Skinny, I will do it. And you want him to do business with you. And like he said, in my opinion, if he did all of that, you would leave him be. But why is it so, I'm just, I'm asking, why is it I, so important that you have Kwame? Because I think that this is business. This, I think you are, you really want Kwame to work with you. And by him saying that that's not what he wants, that's why you come and you, you keep him. saying not what he wants because you're listening to what he's telling you, not his actions. Well, he, have he signed any paperwork? Yeah, okay. I have not sent him anything. I'm only asking Be because see. Because I'm not, a, gotta remember, if I asked you, do you wanna work with me? And your answer is no, that means you rejected it. If your answer is, well, if you get if you get rid of Mr. Skinny, or if you apologize, I will sign with you. That's not Oh, no. so you saying, you saying that he really wants to work with you. And by this, now this is what it sounds like you just said. He really wants to work with you, but if you, and the only way he would do that, if he apologized, but you're not going to apologize. Is no. that what you're saying? No, I'm not apologizing. Well, that would mean that you really don't want to work with him then. Not it's, he don't want to work with I, it's you. It's not about me. Because that, that is a, a very simple, that is a very simple demand. Like Okay, working with someone and giving someone the opportunity is two different things. I don't want to work with him. His, his style of bus life is not my thing. But, why but it's not an opportunity. But I can it, give him a it's job. It's not an opportunity if you don't feel like it would benefit you. Because if you got to go work with somebody that's willing to let people disrespect you and stuff like that, why would I want to work with that person? What I'm I would saying, rather I can, do what I can do. sign him just like I sign other podcasts. No, you trying him. to control him. I mean, but that's, 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 that's what that sounds like. like. Oh, right. Watch this, so you guys are listening to it wrong. Hey, Gilbert, Gilbert, let me ask you something. Because I listen very good. 
You said that you only wanted him to sign him so you can be his boss and fire his ass. Did you not say that? No, no. I got it on video now. Be careful I said, now. I said she was doing the documentary. I said I'll buy the doc. So when he starts talking his shit one day, I can say I'm your boss. Okay, now why would somebody want to do that if if they can see that you have that kind of plan? Like you you like how can you not Wait, hold if on. you was that person, that would be like somebody setting you up just so they can get an upper hand on you so they because you're showing right now that you wouldn't be a fair boss. So I why said, would he, if he why starts he talking that, that shit, I can say I'm your boss. That check came from me. The check you that that shit you always talk comes from me. I can contradict all that bullshit he said. That shit ain't gonna never happen with Kwame Brown. Yeah, that, I'm just that, you know. that's, a, that's a do low twist though. That, that's like saying, but "Hey, come with You gotta remember, all his faults come from himself. It's Holy him. All he, listen, I wouldn't even be here if he just leaves me alone. Wow. Like, so he me. Oh no, nah, that's not true. Now that's not true because y'all had a truce, did y'all not? Yes, we did. Okay, now did you not go on um uh Vlad panel and start calling that man a drunk and all this stuff like that? That was before the truth. And he just that was before the truth and he just yeah. dropped it after the truth. That was it that was before the truth. Okay, okay. I did I did Vlad. Now did you not go on to uh did you not go on to did you not go on to the uh the guy from South Carolina panel and while he was, you know, doing his the mother talking all that stuff after the truth? truth yes i did okay well then that uh, means you broke the agreement the, right no the, the, see, the that agreement means you is broke agreement. Because, like you guys don't use names you guys just reference stuff why are you saying you, you guys so I, just, if you reference and say yo skinny's boss is behind it skinny's boss is this and you keep referencing me that is all you're doing is just saying, I'm not going to say his name. I'm just going to give him an alternate name so I can Y'all don't do about. nothing. I say your name. Sister T say That's Gilbert. you. That's you. We're talking okay. about him. He calls me skinny balls. He he uses other ways to talk about me without talking about me. Just because I let it go. You got to remember, I respond seven to 12 videos later. So that means he has to talk about me seven to 12 videos before I respond. So when you say, oh, Gilbert, you got, you won't let it go. I let this nigga go seven to 12 videos before I respond every single time. I'm not going to go one for one because it's not my platform to go one for one. So I let him go seven to 12 every single time. Okay, let's say uh, Kwame wrong in some things. Yeah, because we know we, uh, anybody could be. You don't think that you are wrong in anything. Now, what? why are you doing this and not trying to make it better instead of waddling in the cesspool that you're in, getting, engaging yourself, people such as state drunk and everything else in this gutter? You know what I'm talking about. Why can't you just make just stop it? Why can't you stop that animal? Because you can. All you got to do is to tell this person to stop doing and saying what he's doing and he will do just that now why are you using him and, and i mean people like him to attack people like us and you're doing i don't, I don't it. use i i don't I gotta remember what he does is what he does has nothing to do with me he just has the one common thing that i have kwame brown and you so paid him to do it too so i don't pay him to I, what I, I don't need to pay his enemy to do anything it's his enemy he created that enemy Wow, Gilbert. like Tommy. Wow. When I came and Tommy was his enemy, I'm going on Tommy's platform. Y'all mm. took Tommy down, Mr. Skinny's his enemy. I'm going to Mr. Skinny uh, somewhere I can go to talk my shit against the same one person. So, do why won't you, you just do it on your own platform? Go ahead, Gil. Why go ahead, Gilbert. Why won't you just do it on your own platform? I mean, you, you're an ex NBA player. If you start a YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure you'll get all his enemies. You know, why won't you just do it on your own, too? I am, I am going to start my own panel. No, we talking about now because you have the money, not only the resources to do whatever you want to do right now. I'm saying, why do you su subject yourself with such a person that you know what he does and say is wrong to individuals rather than guide him and tell him to do the right thing? You're, do you agree with what he's doing? Okay. That's, that's what I'm saying. Have you, watch, have you watched his shows, right? You watched his shows before and recently. 
There was a time where he didn't say. No, I say, don't watch his shows, Gilbert, okay. but I'm going to let so, you speak, baby. There was, there was times where he didn't say the B word, right? There was a, a last video where he was mocking you, and then he said the B word, and then he took it back. I tell him, yo, it's disrespectful. Yeah, I literally, I, now, I, I got I to gotta push you back on this one now. I literally watched this man make a joke about Kwame's mother calling her a B, and you sat right there, and you ain't say a motherfucking word. So you're trying to say he don't always say stuff bad and trying to, you know, exempt yourself from that. But I heard it with my own two eyes. I mean, with my own two ears and watched you. Can you explain that? What he listen? What uh? What he says and does out of his mouth when he's online? That's him. No, we, I'm not saying. I'm if, saying if why would you listen, align yourself with such? No, what, what I'm person, saying is, Gilbert. That's what I'm all I'm saying. saying is, when I, you I know it's wrong. Gotta remember, I've told him plenty of times. Yo, stop saying the b word. Like I told him, look at your look at your algorithm. Look at your followers. If your followers are women, black women, why are you using that language? Why are you using that word? Well, why that's are me. you still mounting his panel while he's using those words? Because it's it's Kwame's enemy. Wow, y'all hear this? You hear this? Yeah, that's clear. Hey, hey, he yeah, clear I, I, I'm, I'm honest. I can tell you this: if if y'all take skinny down, whoever Kwame's next enemy is, I'm going to his panel until wow. I create my own show. Okay. Like, not, listen, I don't. Hey, hey, hey that's nothing. it. That's it. Okay, okay. That's, that's it. I'm not listen. I don't hide from anything. I just don't attack people that I've never met in person. I've met that man. That man bugs me behind the scenes, and he comes on your he comes on these panels pretending to be a victim. He's not a victim. He's an agitator, and I'm competitive. I'm gonna, gonna keep coming too. All he has to do is stop. Like when he when you don't see me on the panel, is that because he's not bothering me behind the scenes? So can I ask you a question, Ms. Marinas? Yes, ma'am. You say you're competitive, right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you be the number one draft pick in the same draft pick of your informants if you're that competitive? What do you mean? You heard me. Well, I would not have been the number one pick. Yes. Not necessarily. Who was the number one pick? Uh, Kwame Brown. Were you competitive then? Yes, ma'am. Okay, what round were you picked? 31. In the second round, yes. right? Yep. Okay. Now, how do you explain that? How do I explain that? The accurate? Like, where, where they picked you at in the second round and in 30 something. If you're oh. so competitive, what happened? Um, getting drafted has nothing to do with being competitive. It's if what do they need, how popular you are at that time, um, size. I was a tweener. I was immature. Um, so my, my rank dropped. See, the competitive part is not being drafted. That's just what happened. The competitive part is what happens after you get drafted. Now you can ask me what happened after. No, I got you're drafted. making excuses. Okay? That's not an excuse. You, I, you not can be the most the number one. Jordan, Jordan is the best player in the world, right? The best player to ever play. Where did he get picked? He didn't get picked number one. And, and, you know, some, of that, and some of that is you know, like, hold on, Queen. Queen, Queen, some of that is uh, correct. I, I can agree with him on well, some Brian of that. Is the, but, Brian but, is the most competitive but but what, like you said, it, it was a combination of things. It was maturity, which Kwame was more mature than you. He was in high school. You went to college. Yes. So he had. Age. It don't matter. He was in high school. You was in college. Mm -hmm. So I mean, y'all both had the same opportunity, and he took advantage of his opportunity. He didn't go in there and say, "I want to be a pimp." So you no, have to take accountability. I you have to. But that's but that's you're talking about competitive. That has nothing to do with competitive. But I'm saying it does have to be because when you when you're competitive in life, you correct the mistakes that you are being uh, that you're doing, so you can compete with the other people who are trying to do the same thing as you. Both okay. of y'all were trying to go to the NBA, so he knows I got to keep a level head. We was around drugs and crime, so mm -hmm. you know it, it was definitely a challenge there. He didn't get drafted just because he was tall. He got drafted because he was an all around prospect. You got to get a man quick. A prospect, but this is not competitive. What does that have to do? She she's talking about being competitive. After we all got drafted, that is competitive. That's competitive in life and in the game. No, after. I, 
I'm asking you, if you're so competitive, competitive, why were you not in the top 10, top five, top three? You was the second round and you still was third and one. Okay, now stop this. Ba baby girl, competitiveness has nothing to do where you're it drafted. Does. I, I, I can have a guy who works 24 hours. If he has no talent, no one's gonna pick him just because he's competitive. Okay, so you're saying you wanted to sleep in a gym your first year in the NBA. Is that what you're telling me? I didn't want to sleep in the gym. But after you, I got... you, you ended up sleeping in a gym. You had no money, okay? No, okay, okay. Hold, hold on, hold on. See, now, now these, these are... are the lies you don't tell. These is not a lie. Let them finish. You got to let them answer. I got they drafted. See, see, that's that's the problem. I got drafted where I didn't think I deserved. I didn't have the money that I thought I was going to have. So my competitiveness turned in and said, we're going to be in this gym. It's a, it's a, it's a figure of speech. I'm going to sleep in the gym. I'm a gym rat. I'm working out four or five. I had an apartment. I had a, I mean, I had a house with a girlfriend and two dogs, but I'm sleeping in the gym. I'm spending my time in the gym because I didn't think those 30 people were better than me. So I need to prove them wrong. That's where competitive comes in at. Okay, let me, let me years let me, later. Let me get in one second, one second. Uh, Queen Regina, and I'm, I'm gonna ask Queen Regina and uh, Sister T this. I got, um, I got the man in question that y'all are, um, that all of you guys, you know, have your um, issue with back here on the backstage. No, he's very triggering, very triggering. Listen, no. if you're gonna, uh, uh, that's that's not me. What yeah, man? What man? Y'all don't, don't, don't want to give y'all grievance off. What man? No, not what, me. What man is, is is he is in the back? The uh, the the, the what y'all call the state drunk? Oh hell no! He don't want. Well, what we want to discuss with him? He He's looking for content. Content. Here. content. He looking for content. This no. man. Uh uh. But it's not his, um, and that, it's not my place. Uh, okay, it's, yeah, it's, it's, right. it's, it's, not, his, it's not his content. But I'm asking, I'm asking because if you're gonna have, a, I, I'm a firm believer. If you having a discussion about somebody, they come you up. You are not a woman that was sexually harassed. I by get him. it. Quick, hold on, Queen. You ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna do that with me. I'm saying, I'm saying by my logic. I, uh, you, you acting like I don't fully understand what's going on. Because if, if I didn't care about this, I wouldn't have asked you that. I was it's saying, if you if you if you're discussing somebody, that's why I asked you. Did you want to discuss it? Now you said no. I get that part, but I I would like to see what the fuck somebody has to say. All right, ears. And then, you know, I, I'm and then, to on a panel with you. I get it, you know. and I get that part, and okay. that's why I asked you. So, do you want us to go down? Is that what you're saying? No, ma'am. I want y'all to finish our conversation, and he can do that when we're finished. Okay. I was asking just right now, okay. but he gets no special privilege where he get to stop our um our uh, show to you know do that. But okay. I was asking just in case. But if you can't stomach it or whatever, I understand. He would just he would just have to he would just have to wait and I'll bring him up when it's convenient and I'll ask him the questions I want to ask him. Okay. Yeah, because see, I don't understand what he would have to say to me anyway. I, I, I get it. I get it. But that mean I don't want to ask him some stuff. And let me drop down and you let you ask no, him. You ain't gotta do it right, you ain't gotta do it right now because y'all are, y all are still right? talking to Gil. Y'all are still talking to Gil. Not competitive in my opinion. Hold on, hold on, Queen, please. Don't don't do that because let, let me finish. Let me finish because I want to make sure this is fair. I'm saying that when I when I'm done or whatever, then he could do it. There ain't no hurry. This is my damn show. And y'all have questions for Gilbert right now. And so y'all finish talking to Gilbert. <laughs> The distraction, and I forget what I was talking about when something like that happened. Oh, it's Gilbert gone. Mm, whatever. Did his phone go dead? His phone probably went dead. Okay. 
So I was trying to get a real discussion about this competitive, because I'm very competitive, and I became a nurse in a, in one year because I was very competitive. I didn't get I didn't I didn't get kicked out of nursing school in an elite program. I didn't lose no money. I made money. So we got to get a real definition of this competitive, because I don't see it. But well, you know what? Like, I, it, but it seems like y'all two are not going to come to an agreement about what competitive is. He's seeing it as a competitive struggle between him and Kwame as far as who can take each other down, which Kwame ain't competing with him on that. He's just, he's, he's out there trying to, you know, um, show that Kwame ain't shit, I guess, or whatever. But I don't, I don't get it. I'm trying to get more understanding about it. Me it looks like, to me, it looks more like a haterism or whatever to me. But, you know, I, I don't, I don't get what he's doing because it, it went, it's, it's kind of productive. It, it's it seems hate. like hate to me. That's, That's just my opinion. Ears. Ears is and, hate. and like you say, he was an overall perspective in mannerism, in character, in judgment, in all of that. It wasn't just basketball skills. Right, so and, and in my eyes, I feel like competitiveness is in life altogether, not just on yes. that court. It was, yes. it was when y'all went to go talk to these people. Is whoever want to be more competitive, they're gonna put a better appearance on. So yes, you wasn't competing when it came to life all in general. You were just probably competitive on the court. So that's just my opinion about that. But mm -hmm. uh, right now he's trying to not. I guess he doesn't see that. He mm -hmm. just was thinking hey, that 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 didn't count. But obviously, now, the scout counted. Ears, I have no problem. I want you to know this. Uh, nobody trigger me unless I want them to trigger me. And I'm just going to keep it jet real. Uh, as far as the state drunk, only reason I don't want to discuss anything with this individual because he's a sick person. I, regardless of what anybody may think, what I, I know they may like this person, but the man is evil and he's sick. I mean, he, anybody that can stoop as low that this man has done, and then people think that I should talk to this man and forgive this man, ears, I'm going to be honest with you, they can kiss my ass. Because they don't know what I have been through with this man, and this man dragged my family through the mud and lies through these YouTube streets. And regardless whether people believe it or not, it's some sick people out there still spinning them narratives and them lies about me and my family. And they gonna tell me that I need to talk to this man. Let me tell any of y'all, I have nothing to say to him. Let the authorities talk to him. There is more than one way to skin a cat and it ain't none of y'all, none of y'all business what's going on with a Queen Regina, Sister T, those eyes. It's none of y'all business. So y'all can be friend whoever y'all want, like whoever y'all want. Please respect us to do the same. That's all I'm saying. When y'all have walked in our shoes, then y'all speak on it. I totally agree. I totally agree. I mean, if I was y'all, shit, I just, I'm done talking. I let the court do the talking. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to drain them pocketbooks in them pockets. And I know he wanted, he wanted to wave the white flag because uh, I'm hitting where it hurt in them pockets. And I ain't going to stop. Hold on one second, Gil. I'm about to let you back up. Oh uh, y'all y'all still got questions for Gil? Yeah, yes, I will. do because I want to ask why he hadn't apologized to me. And uh Skinny, I'm not letting you on until we're done with Gil because um you trigger the women and uh, I'm 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 gonna respect the panel as that way. If you wanna come on after they done with uh after they done with their questions, I'll let them down and you can come up because I have questions for you myself. You don't trigger me. But go ahead. Real damage to them pockets. Yeah. Real damage. I'm just beginning. Oh. Man, my thought is when it first comes. What we'll happened to you, Gil? Oh, what you say? No, I was letting Gil back up, but I don't know. It, it, it looked like he went back out. I don't know if his mm -hmm. phone. Like... Oh my, he competitive. I am very competitive. You think what I just went through and came out on top? I'm not competitive. Man, please, I see real results. I ain't seen no results at that uh that draft. Okay. Yeah. And Kwame didn't get put out by no guns in no locker room. Kwame had a 12-year stint. Okay. 
So all of this competitive, there's got to be some competitive character, loyalty, respect, and judgment. Because you can be competitive and lose it all like he did. Yep. Because it's judgment. All right, I got Kwame and Gil coming up. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, Kwame. What's good? Man? How y'all doing? I ain't know y'all was still on the marathon continue. Oh, the marathon continue. We got a lockdown. We yeah, got a lockdown. Hey, y'all got the it's Sunday. You know, I got, <laughs> hey, I got time. I got time today. It's Sunday. Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, yeah. That, I want that co-host. Have you all looked at replacing that co-host on food? No, y'all need to replace this baby mama body <laughs> right here. <laughs> I don't like hey, that look. co-host, Gilbert. His, his optics ain't right. Hey, Gil, you a hundred million dollars. Hold on, can I use his words against him, y'all? Can y'all? Hey, ears, no offense, ears, and, and please don't take this as disrespect. But I, I ain't taking that. I know. I I know <laughs> what my platform at right now. Is. <laughs> hey, I'm look. proud of my shit. Look, I know you are. I just want to repeat what he said. These are not my words. So that's why I just want you to know that I did not say this. But if I'm repeating what this man said to me, he said, you look stupid out here on small YouTubers channels. And now he is a $100 million man on a 3,000 subscriber channel. Now, why is it not bad for his brand? Is he in that protected group? Is that uh, why they dress him up every Halloween and shit like that? Okay, keep. Can you stop using that narrative? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. The, 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 I said beefing with small. You beefing Beef. right now? You Beef. beefing right? I'm small to you. You on TV? I'm on YouTube. Remember? Beefing with small YouTube. I'm bro. small to you, sir. You saying you're big to me? Okay, no, let's, no, I ain't say nothing. I don't want no problem you, with you. I, hey, brother, brother, I don't want no problem with you. Can we end it right now? Can you hey, can you answer this question for Queen Regina? No, no, no. But I'm saying, can you no, answer no, no, this question? You, we can end this right Queen now. Regina, Queen Regina. I don't needs... want no pro I don't want no problem with Gilbert Arenas. Can you accept that? I can accept that. So do you do you need to have a problem with me? I don't need to have a problem with you, no. It seems like because you keep saying you got a game, you're trying to win. I ain't in no game. No, no. Okay, but speaking of that, we can you tell Regina? When it comes to competitiveness, am I competitive? Absolutely. Okay. Okay, when you are competitive, the goal is to win. Am I right, Kwame? Yes. Okay, guns in a locker room, and you spending 12 years in the NBA league, who's most competitive? Uh. <laughs> One man got fired. One man retired. I didn't. I didn't get. I didn't get fired. Stop it! Stop it! I, you I know mean, what? stop it. You know, I played in Orlando and Memphis. After you know, this. you call show career by that uh, issue. I was I, in DC. Now, give, you got to give her that. Now, that that's that's true. I right mean, now. she said I'm fired. I played no, in no, two no, different. No, teams. no, no. I'll correct it. Hold on, Queen. I'll correct it. He wasn't. He was let go from Orlando, so he was let go. So that's essentially fired. But he got another opportunity. You have to be careful with wordplay with Mr. Arenas. Mr. Arenas wants to play word salad, food salad. But Mr. Arenas, if you carry a gun in the locker room, he was supposed to be arrested for that. And in, in, in D.C., that's two years. I think Lonnie Baxter got that same charge. If yep. you get caught gun in the in the city limits of DC, you're supposed to do a mandatory two years. Mm -hmm. So his talent, and that's what Gilbert has been getting away with his entire life. He's a very talented guy. So his talent makes him above the law in, in certain regards. And so that's why he comes talking like that. Because a regular civilian in DC getting caught with the type of guns and as many guns as he got caught with loaded, they would have went to straight to prison. So yeah, if you was me, if you was me, so you would be doing. Oh my bad. So, so he got a second opportunity, and this is what he never learned his lesson. He got a second opportunity again in Memphis, but he did the same damn thing, not with bringing the guns, but carrying along this "I'm above the law" attitude. And that's why I don't want to play with nobody like that because he's going to carry this "I'm above the law" attitude, and he's so competitive. 
he'll go until he crash and burn. He don't care who he take with him. He's going to go until he crash and burn. And so what these guys around him don't know is that Gilbert is not going to get in trouble. But normally the people that he play with, they go to jail. Javar's Crittenden is in jail. Gilbert Arenas is free. So, so Oh, you breaking up, Kwan. You're underwater, Kwan. You're underwater. Hold on, stop talking. You're underwater. You're underwater. He got that, he got that iPhone 1. <laughs> so, uh, what is the death sentence? Didn't you get the death you break, sentence? You're breaking up, Kwan. You're breaking up. I heard you mention something like that about a death sentence in the NBA. Say it again. You mentioned something about, you know, whatever happened, you got the death sentence that, you know, you, I mean, you know, you were blackballed. Maybe not fire, but I wasn't blackballed. Ball. I wasn't oh, blackballed. Okay. okay. If you had it to do all over today, what changes would you have made? None. Because if oh, I change my habit. Hello. Go ahead. Let, let him answer, Queen. Yeah, we hear you now. No, you she asked him a quick question. Oh, my bad. Yeah, okay, not, yeah ahead, Queen okay, asked him a quick question. Um, let him go ahead and answer that. You go ahead and finish okay. what you were saying. If you See, I, I think everyone's confused when I say I, you know, slept in the gym and all that. But you got to remember. You got to remember when you fall, it's not about to fall, it's about to get up. My get up after I fell in the draft is what makes me competitive. I did not just quit because I wasn't drafted. I didn't have any money. I worked my ass off. I worked my ass off, signed a big deal. So that means in the draft, no offense, Kwame, I was the first MVP All-Star, a uh, rookie All-Star game. I was the first one to win the most improved. I'm still at today, I'm the youngest player to ever win most improved. I was the first person to sign my deal. I was the first person to be on a video game. I was the first person to be um, an all-star, an all NBA player, and the first one to get um, a USA <laughs> invite. So now, hey, but to, be fair, to be fair, that, hold on, hold on, Queen, Queen, Queen. To be fair though, you was the first person not to fucking leave too though. Hey, hey hold on, hold on, hold on. It, 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 it wasn't the it, first it, it, one. Hold on y'all, hold on y'all. No, 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 but, but hold me, on. Hold on, hold on. This is why Gilbert don't want me to talk. Let me give y'all the reason why he was the first to all of those things. So he don't make this seem like this was some illustrious thing that he did. This was a guy who was good enough to be a top five pick. He did not fall. He said something stupid and he did something stupid. And his behavior, which the same where it is now, his behavior makes people want to kick him out of the room. But he's talented enough to get back in the room. So the reason why he's the first to be able to get signed to a big deal is because he was a second round fucking pick. So you're not locked in to a contract. There's not one first round pick that was in his draft that could even be in the conversation to be all of these things he's talking about. Because it's only regarded to it's only relegated to second round picks, which he was, which he created this environment with his behavior. So all of these accolades that he's talking about is some bullshit. No, that's, yeah. that's, your, career, that's a lie. I agree. No, I'm it's not a lie, lie, sir. How can it's you agree to something? First of all- It is not a lie. You were good enough to be a top pick, sir. And you know no, it. Okay, let him, okay. Let, let, let him respond, Kwame. Kwame, let him respond. Hold on. Go ahead. The only I'm thing just, I had an advantage over is signing a faster contract. Not so why much you, improved. Why, you, why did you bring that up then? Not a most improved. Most improved is okay. Whoever... I'm asking, sir. Before hold you talk on, off hold air, on. I'm not going to hold interrupt. On. Hold on. Okay, I'm not. Just, I just most got one question. Most improved. Got one question, bro. Most improved. I know you always want to make is... an argument with me, oh my but God, you brought dude. you brought that up, brother. Why did you most bring that up? Oh, you said man, everything that I accomplished that is because of the second round. Most improved is okay, but every you never boy. said. That. I'm gonna give you the. I'm gonna give you the most improved. But the okay, fact so that how about brought, the all star? No, how about listen the all star? Hey, how here, about the all star? That is, hold on now. You got to let me ask him this question because he's you give that me up. the all star. Uh, uh, hey, no, take, bro, check no, it out. Check no, it out. No, check no. it out. Check it out. Hold on. Kwame, he answer this. Ask this. Like he is hey, good. Hold on, hold on. Let, ask, the, let, ask this question and let him, let him go ahead and get that, it out. That's all I was trying to get him to do. He keep running his mouth. He brought that up. Go ahead. Ask the question. Okay. 
he brought that up as if it was a stat in his face. Which one? Okay, the part where you talking about I'm the first one to sign a big deal. Big guns. You okay. Not just say that. Yes. Okay. Hey, so that's not a stat. That's a false bullshit ass stat. Because I, you were oh, good uh, enough to be money is not a okay. The money is not the stat. Hold on, hold on, Bill. He brother, gonna finish and we gonna let you talk. Brother, let him finish, finish bro. We're gonna let you talk uninterrupted. Damn, that's all he wanna do is over talk because he know he's full of shit. Now yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Ass, that's a fake ass stat because once he got booted out of the first round, any player that's in the second round can go ahead and get signed first. Now, being that this guy was good enough to be in the first round anyway, of course he's going to goddamn blow them out the water and play better because he should have been in the first round in the first place. But the thing that he will never understand is that his behavior is the one thing that keeps him out of this elite class that he should have been in. That's why he shouldn't be speaking on no number one draft pick because my behavior and my play was that of a number one draft pick. And I had I played the amount of minutes that Gilbert Arenas played, it wouldn't have been no different. And every time I got a chance to play 30 plus minutes, look at the numbers. They don't tell you the numbers at 30 plus minutes. Go look at them. He, Gilbert know about points per minute and all this shit when they compare you. Kevin Garnett was the top power forward at the time. Go look at Garnett's numbers with 36 minutes and go look at mine since you like stats, boy. And then you'll see why all these people don't understand why I kept getting contract after contract. It's not my fault they told me to sit on the goddamn bench. Let, let her respond, All stories you tell me fake-ass stories. Let her respond, Tom. You're going to interrupt me. Uninterrupt it, Gil. Go ahead. Me signing my deal is not a fucking stat or an accolade. That's just something I did. Winning the most improved. I'm the youngest player to win most improved. That means I was competing against every other player in the NBA. You know how like John Morant won most improved against every, I won most improved. That's an accolade. I won rookie sophomore MVP of the All-Star game. That's an accolade. Out of everybody in the NBA, I, I was the first one from my draft class to make the all-star game. That's an accolade. From my draft no, class. No, it's not. From my draft class, I was the first one to be all NBA team. That's an accolade. From That's my draft accolade. from my draft class, I was the first one to be put on a video game. That's an accolade. True. From but my only, class, but Gilbert, I was the, the first one. Gonna, but Gilbert, the only oh, thing from, from my draft from class, class, from my draft class, from my draft class, I was the first one, first one with a signature shoe. I was the first one to make the uh, USA team. This has nothing to do with me and Kwame. I'm not competing against Kwame. I'm competing against my draft class. Huh? All, all, all I'm saying. So is, when you're trying I'm, to compare us, I'm I don't. Not, I, you don't need to. I I'm was just proving right. that I was all so right, competitive. Right, Gil, let oh, me respond. Let this, me respond now. Man, listen, man. This is all food salad. It, basically, what I'm trying to tell you is, this is like a kid that was that was good enough to go D one to go to the D one school at Duke, but then he went to a smaller D two school, and then he break all the school records. Gilbert Arenas, the reason why his career is a losing career, in my opinion, is because I'm telling you, he was good enough, and he showed it with the way he played. But the fact that his brain doesn't compute, he's giving himself credit for falling out of the number one, or falling out of the top 13 pick when he was good enough to be a first round draft pick. And had he been a first round draft pick, he would have went to a team with other players. He went to the Golden State Warriors at the time where they were they wasn't even making the playoffs. Had he went back. around MJ, had he went around MJ or any team that was competitive with the dumbass behavior, he would have never got on the court. So he better thank his lucky stars that he walked in there and the league look at Gilbert as an embarrassment. They do not look at him as this thing that he look at himself. No one is questioning how good you were on the court. We're questioning the behavior. 
the same behavior that you're showing now. Who the fuck said you wasn't a good basketball player? I didn't no say basketball. That. I said competitive, sir. I ain't going to lie. You, about, I ain't going to lie. Back in the, the day, you was one of my favorites. The reason why I say guiltiness is not competitive because you have to handle business on and off the court. And you did not handle business. I watched the man. I was sitting in that seat. And you was like three seats down, stood up trying to be the class clown, talking about, <laughs> I'm going to be a motherfucking pimp. That's not handling business. If you love your mama, nigga, and if you love your motherfucking daddy, you don't say shit like that in front of them white folks. But what was the well, outcome? Like, you, you're trying to penalize that, me for one outcome, moment. The you outcome is that out the it's one moment in life. Oh, yeah. The outcome you is that out the, the outcome is that you are a very good basketball player that could have had a better career, but you're such a jackass that you can't understand that you embarrassed yourself and you embarrassed your family. Thank God that you Gilbert Arenas is as good as he is at basketball. Because guess what? And 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 the reason why I, you're bad for other black kids, because other black kids are not as talented as you, sir. And you keep pretending as if everybody else can act like a jackass like you and going to get away with it like you did. The only reason why you got away with so much shit is because you're good at basketball. And that's a shame. You're not a mentor to none of these young boys because they don't, if they don't possess the talent that you have, then white folks can't use them. And you're the epitome of a nigga that get used by white folks for their talent. There's a lot of football players that can't read or write and a white guy will push them all the way through school and thinking that they're helping them. But at the end of the day, you see the results. You are a 40 year old man on a 3000 subscriber channel because you can't figure out why Kwame Brown went viral. And I keep telling you, dumbass boy, it's mindset. I know why you went viral, nigga. It's you mean me? It's mindset, nigga. It's mindset. It don't got you. <laughs> yeah, guess what? Guess wow. I ain't gonna lie, Gil. I ain't gonna lie, Gil. When he went viral, I barely noticed that he even mentioned you, bro. I, I ain't even gonna. Lie. You can go to you can go well, to you, you, was was least least <laughs> you was the least mentioned about <laughs> you was the least mentioned bro. I was exactly. the one who got it started. Yeah, bro, you, was started, the, started, you, you was the least mentioned, bro. I, I heard the Becky with the, the Becky oh, with the good oh, head. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because all y'all gonna be incorrect. Hold on. Okay, go ahead and respond. Nobody yeah, interrupt. First two viral videos, he's tagging me. It was 105,000, and it was 606,000 subs. I mean, uh, viewers. That was me and my headline. I just jumped out of it before he kept rolling. That's but what I was talking ask about, Matt Barnes me? and Becky with the good hair, bro. Hey, Kwame, and, can, and, I, can I ask him a question real quick? Okay, but wasn't you the one that, that jumped fired it? Because you're the one that went on um, uh, All the Smoke podcast. Yes. And had to hear this, you know, stuff to about Kwame. So really, it had you had to be in it because you was already mentioning him. Fact. Can you agree to that? Yes. Okay, so why would you be surprised of so, him just mentioning so, you? So when he's really talking hey, about hey, him. Hey, ears, can I ask you something? What ears? I'm saying. Have no, you no, ever? Yeah. Hey, ears, have you ever heard me mentioning anything about Gilbert Arenas before Gilbert Arenas went on that podcast? I never heard you really mention anything about any oh, NBA you're player. You're right. Listen, uh, you're right. right. I'm just trying to hear his response. You're right. Yo, give me one second, you're, bro. You're right. Give me one second. What you say? Hey, me though. You let him ask me a question, bro. <laughs> he listen, just asked me. Saying. He don't even want. He can't respect me enough to ask the host a question. That's how. That's how disrespectful he is. But what? But no, I, I never heard you speak of him, or you know, what I'm saying, or any other um player in a negative way. You know what I'm saying? Before that situation there. And I've always watched you uh, from YouTube. I mean, not YouTube, but from Facebook to YouTube. And just from real life. Shit, we used to come around just to listen to the stories and shit. Okay, and okay so, here. So, Ears, don't you see how I would be offended by me trying to tell a man, bro, from a man-to-man -man standpoint, I don't speak about you. Why do you keep speaking about me in these interviews? Every interview I see, they sit them down. This shit ain't just happened in uh, 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 last year. Gilbert's been doing interviews about me since I left D.C. So I just wanted That's to ask him, like, bro, why do you keep talking about me? Don't you see how I would feel that way here? Oh, yeah, I definitely, hey, I want to ask that question, too. Gil, you don't see that? Ear, ears, ears. The statement was not what he, the statement was, you don't know how I went viral. 
The answer is, nigga, I do. It was me. So you okay. feel like you you I feel like you the reason that. you feel like you the reason he went viral. Okay. So you, well, okay, well, ears, ask him that other question. After he finished explaining that, now we'll agree with him. Whatever. I went viral because of him. Cool. Now, can you ask him? He's been. You can go look at interviews back from 2006, where they're just asking this man questions about me. I don't uh, answer no I, questions about none of show, those. You're gonna players. have to show me those. All right, man. No, you're gonna have to show me. Those. I can't. I can't never finish the uh, fucking sentence. But everybody, you 2006, you're gonna have to show me though. I mean, anybody else panel? Now, do you see that every time I'm speaking, he's speaking? But on everybody else panel, they keep talking about. I'm don't don't, fo don't focus on it, Kwame. Tell us what you just finished said, and then we'll let him respond to it. On on several panels because he's gonna get hung up on 2006. This and Gil, you're gonna get to respond to this if you feel like it's wrong. Go ahead. I'm sorry. This dates back to prior to last year. Last year wasn't the first time Gilbert Arenas was asked a Kwame Brown question. When I left DC, he got asked a lot of Kwame Brown questions. So I'm not going to say the year, but I just want to know. I was able to see these articles. So I'm just asking, why would a man continue talking about another man that's off the team, no way around him, but he keeps talking about me to these white folks? Uh, I, I, to be honest, 2006 when he left, I'm pretty sure this is when he left. Um, we were both asked questions about each other because it was a fallout because of game three. So um, I think there was one one article and it was from the Lakers report of Kwame's article. And I commented, I commented about it, but I, I, I don't wasn't know. speaking about you, brother. I didn't. Say uh, the article was you talking about the situation in Washington. Sir. Okay, but the situation in Washington, I didn't say nothing about Gilbert Arenas, though, brother. Oh yeah, actually, whoa, whoa, hold on. What you said? You said said it again, man. Oh man, first, first, this, this is the, this is why I say this boy got. White I'm running, I'm back. running to my computer. Hey, so we can, hold on, brother. we can hold read on, the article. Brother. Hold on, Lord Jesus, give it. You I know you keep wanting to talk yourself. while I'm talking, brother. <laughs> no, no, no. You can talk all you want, sir. Okay, but relax. So, so, uh, okay, so, so Gil gonna go pull up the article. Kwame, you well, saying he's he 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 already. Say, hold on, Ears. Didn't he just say? He just interrupted me to say, in 2006, ain't nothing happened. Now he remember 2006? Didn't he just say 2006 didn't happen? He did say that. So no, now all of a sudden he come he come right back after he just contradicted himself said, well the 2006 article we both was asked a question about each other. Let me, so which let one me ask it? a question to both y'all. So you're yeah, saying so, Kwame, so which one is it? So Kwame, you're saying uh, you, they had an interview with you, but you was only discussing what happened in Washington, not me. What, 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 what I'm saying when is, he, when he did his article. He, he talked no, about what happened in Washington, that, that, but he that, no, your that name. ain't what I'm saying. That ain't what I'm saying. What I, I'm, I'm saying I'm, is, in 2006, there's an article. You will find an article in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2012. Gilbert Arenas' whole existence, they tie him to Kwame Brown. You said 2007? 2008. Okay, Gilbert, I was in the middle of speaking, my brother. 2009, Gilbert, 2012. Gilbert. Control yourself, brother. Because I know I that's going to be cat. Speaking, That's going to be cat. Hey, brother, can you control yourself? Let me finish what I'm that's saying. Straight lie. All right, but can you control oh, oh, yourself? Hey, hey, I'm about to say, Gil, let him finish it. If no, you got I'm your gonna, receipt, go ahead. That's what they do every time. I'm going this, to Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't worry about Don't worry about me. If you got your receipt, pull up your receipt. We wait. Go ahead. This finish. This is my thing about Gil. You won't find multiple articles with me answering direct questions about Gilbert Arenas. You're gonna be able to Google, all the YouTubers right now, Google Gilbert Arenas articles on Kwame Brown. You're gonna find multiple articles with Gilbert Arenas, just like Gilbert Arenas, multiple interviews and newspaper clippings talking about Kwame Brown. I'm about to Google that shit right now. Google, go, hey, Why here, do that. Why are you speaking about me? Google that. Why does he keep speaking about me? 
it, I, ain't, I ain't played basketball in years. And a year ago, here it is, Kwame Brown. <laughs> Did you kill a man? <laughs> What's going on, man? And then I, I talked to the brother. Hey, man, just don't answer questions about me. I wasn't disrespectful at all. Just don't answer questions about me, bro. Okay, man, we don't have any beef. <laughs> and then now he comes on the scene, answer more questions about me on Vlad. And then he, he do all this disrespectful shit, thinking I was going to talk about him so he could do what he's doing now, have plausible deniability so he could play like a little, a little, I don't know anything. You know, these soft ass niggas like to punch and then hide their hand. How so can I turn this opinion. video around? He's How do I turn this shit around? Soft -ass niggas. How do I turn this shit around? October, okay, so this is October 3rd, 2005. This is Brown told Arena's comments were misconstrued, 2005. Man, I did, that, I did. That that's is 2005, Kwame, Kwame bro. Brown. Hold on, you talk, that's, you talk. That's right, I said, after talk, I hold, left the team and y'all was playing, bro. Hey, 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 Go to 2007. Go to oh, 2007. Oh, oh, 2007, oh, I can do that. Go to 2007 and then go to 2020. Listen, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Kwame. Let me get something clear. Let me get something clear. So that I one you did 2007. Hold on, Gil. Only 2005. Hold on, Gil. So what? What it said? You said in 2005? Huh? I wanted to hear what it, what, what you said. It said in 2005. I, I know, I know, Kwame. Let me hear though. I, I want to hear what he was saying about the 2005. What it said. Is that when you spoke on him or, or not? No, this is Brown with the Lakers. He's coming back to D.C. He's coming back okay. to D.C. and he did an article basically about the situation that happened between me and him in the locker room. Did you mention him? It said, hold on. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da I mean, you should know. Did you mention him or not? I'm reading the article. Well, you don't know what you said? Well, the whole thing never says. Heard about you and Kwame in the locker because room. I, 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 oh, 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 you can finish. What happened in the locker room? Did you pull well, him on, let, let him tell him about it. Hold on, one question. Let, 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 him, let him tell him about his article real quick. He he, don't, he seemed to not remember oh, if it, he missed it. It was, it it was um, Kwame. Arena said that he supported Brown during the playoffs, even called on the Wizard fans to stop booing Brown and the opponents and boo the opponents instead. I was I was the one who was helping him out, Arena said, but I guess he heard from somebody that I told Coach not Bingo, to play the game three. About me again. Oh, Kwame, let him finish, Kwame. Kwame, let him finish, bro. He, 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 he let I him finish. Article. Let him, let him finish that. This is important. So, so again, I was the one who was helping him out, Arena said, but I guess he heard from somebody that I told Coach not to play him in game three. It wasn't like that. Okay, so that's what you said. That's what you said, correct? That's what I said, yes. Okay. Because say was, so it was basically Kwame coming now, back. Once to okay, let, Kwame, to let Kwame respond to that. It was so once again, ears, this nigga is a double talking bitch. The nigga <laughs> said that before they asked when I was coming to DC, they asked this nigga a question. He said what he said. I'm helping him. Just that ain't he been saying he been helping me this whole time? And yep, that's what he's been saying on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, he was saying he's trying to help me this whole time, right? Now, the whole right. time I was on YouTube, I've been mean, like, no, nah, nigga, I don't need your help, bitch ass nigga. So, what he's trying to do is over talk real fast. Before I got on the plane to LA, they brought his comments to me. Gilbert Arena said this. Gilbert Arena said he was helping you. I'm like, what? Gilbert Lie. Arena. Lie. Me. Oh man! This okay. is a late. This is a late. Oh, let him finish, Gil. Let him finish, Gil. We gonna let you go. Go but ahead. It's on the internet. It, every time it's, I know, I know, I'm gonna move somebody else panel. They allow him, him to just. But it's on the internet. Let him, right let him get his side out, and then you can you can come back with what you gotta say. Uh, I Gil. wish I was close to this nigga right now, cause he wouldn't be talking over me like this. Like every go ahead, time go I'm trying to talk, this nigga keep talking. That's irritating Man, to me. stop crying, little girl. Oh, I'll be crying, all right. Then you already know. That's why you keep being like a little bitch. Just you go finish your point. But, but, finish, anyway, finish but like I was saying here, the nigga always have a comment about me, and then he want to say, oh, well, you were talking about me. Just like he's doing now. Stop commenting on a grown-ass man. This nigga, the only thing I said in that article is like, Gilbert, this bitch-ass nigga didn't help me. This nigga is the one that fucked up my contract because he was trying to suck that little white boy off, Dan Fagan, who ended up fucking him in the end of the day. 
So this nigga know what I'm talking about. And 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 Arn tell him already got the flight receipts because he already he made a listen. This the thing that Gilbert don't know. When when Dan Fagan was flying to Utah and doing all these little games, the same agent that Russell Wel uh, Westbrook got was a part of Arn Tellum's group. And they filed a grievance against his agent because they he was following me around. So Gilbert can play stupid all he motherfucking want to. He can play stupid all he want, but Dan Fagan didn't cover his tracks, dumbass boy. What that got to do, what that gotta do with me? Dan Fagan that same year, idiot. What that got to do with me? Okay. Yeah, because that was your agent, bitch-ass nigga. And you went straight to the coach and said, Kwame in my way. And I got bench right after you said that, whole boy. Yeah, that's a lie. All right. I ain't gonna lie, Gil. You, you, you did admit again? that, though, Gil. Gil, Why you, you did on? admit that, though, on, on one of the panels. Why you want? He on. know. He know. He did that. He, you did admit panel, that, though, Gil. He admitted. Talking about. I might have said that. I might have told. I might have. Yeah, you, you admitted that, Gil. You admitted yeah. that, Gil. No, I said I might have. I, we're talking about 2004. If you might have, if you might have, you know you did it. Cause that you didn't do it. His agent, listen. His agent telling me. His agent telling me. Like my. Listen, hey, here. His agent telling me, "Hey, Kwame, sign with me. I will get you 68 million. My agent telling me, "Man, Tyson Chandler just got 60 million on five and five from Chicago Bulls. Nigga, you was the number one draft pick. Ten and Shut seven. up." Don't get in no trouble. We're going to get you 80 at the end of the season. Because that's how this shit works. It's a numbers game. You don't got to hate on nobody. When another player gets signed and his numbers are lower than yours, my numbers, he can say 6-6, six 7-7, and six, seven and seven, whatever. It was more than 5-5. Five and five, And Tyson Chandler got 60. So based on that, I'm going to get 80. I'm in the playoffs. So Gilbert Arenas tried to do what he's doing now, which is to get down the lay down tactic. And I don't get down for nobody. So that bitch ass nigga could kiss my ass then, and this bitch ass nigga could kiss my ass now. All right, let, let him respond, Kwame. I'm good. Just with just with Brown's words in the article. Are you the source for the article? Brown, what? Are you the source for the article? No, ma'am. Kwame Brown is the source. It's his word. Okay, I was getting. What's confused. the name of the article, bro? Huh? Um, what's, Kwame, what's the article? Oh. Like this? Brown told Arena's comments were misconstrued. Right. So what's the name of the article so we can all look it up? No, that's what you type in. Okay, so who wrote the article is what I'm asking. It says uh, October 3rd, 2005. This is Washington. Washington Post? Yep. Right. So I'm saying your comments are misconstrued, right? So I'm responding. Bro, can I talk? Can I read your so, shit? Wait, wait, wait. So am I responding to your comments, correct? No, 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 no. So if I say your no, comments no, were no, no, sir, no, 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 you already, oh you already spoke. God. If I'm saying your comments are misconstrued, that no, means you said your comments are misconstrued. I said my own comments. Were yes, misconstrued. nigga. Yes. So, so read it out. My own comments are misconstrued. That makes no sense. But go ahead. Oh, uh, if you let me read it, just stop fucking yapping at the mouth. Girl. I'm not talking, bitch. So go girl. ahead. Here was the. Here was the here was the comments. I didn't come to practice because I was going to be a distraction. I was going to slap him, or probably a little space, or probably slap the fuck out of him. Brown told the post, "I'll admit what I did was wrong. Not showing sure up was wrong, but I ain't saying what I would have done if I showed up would have been right." Ah, he reading the article while I was there. Yeah, 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 bitch, nigga, you remember now, huh? So, dog, I said when I left, why hold on, bro? It's, it's telling us about the back. It's giving us the backstory. Ta ta, ta ta, ta ta. <laughs> Being that I didn't show up, I didn't put my hands on nobody. How a teammate is a, a supposed friend will go to a coach and tell him, "Don't put me in a game." I would have done something seriously wrong to him. Fact. Right. So, Fact. so that, that was the that was the arc. That was the. I'm talking the about muscle. seriously wrong to you, boy. So, but you reading the article of an article so that it's I was me. still in Washington. So this is me because I this. was still in Washington on that article. No, bro. this is 2005. You're coming to Washington now. I didn't get now. traded until 2005, Gilbert. 2004, you're, you're five. Right now, Gilbert. Kwame, when did you get traded, Gilbert? 
I just got I got a four I got a three year deal. I signed a three year deal with the fourth year option. I picked they picked up my fourth year option. So you tell me what year I got traded. You got traded yeah, in the summer of 2005. He did get traded 2005, yeah. I know, 2005. In the summer of 2005, the season. So I was still on the team. When you, was we were not on the team. That year. you was not so on the I, team 2005, 2006, sir. Uh, Shut up. You wasn't. The re, the, 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 what Gilbert is doing. You is was he, on the team 2004, 2005. What Gilbert is doing is that an NBA season doesn't say it doesn't read exactly how we do the season so i played five years for the washington okay. wizards so four my- four you played four years dude you see that's the problem you don't even know your fucking own history but you just you make sabotage, it up as you go you sabotage the brother's contract Gilbert. oh y'all stop it sister T. You but really you admit it. that though you All did admit right, so that Okay, hey, ears, so is that ears. a playoff game that you, Hold on. Here. Was it a playoff game? Y'all could have won a championship it, no, ma'am. Ears. Was set out in the third round. Was no, man. They, 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 at that time, they didn't, they didn't have you it. You got to keep talking so fast. Any fast-talking nigga like you, ears. you don't want to believe nothing let, they say. Let, let, let I like, get, I like to get in front of a fast talking nigga because I can make him talk slow. Ooh, I okay. bet. Ooh, I bet you. I bet you fast go ahead, go ahead. Let, let her ask a question real quick. This is a real fast talking bitch ass nigga. Go ahead, go ahead. Can Jim. you write? Can you write down October third, hey, two thousand five? Hey, listen, listen, I'm not. Just write that I'm down, gonna, please. I'm not gonna be so keen on the dates because no, no, no. I, we need I, to be keen on the dates hey, listen, because you're you just lying. Just mute him just like you did a meal. You're just lying. I'm not going to argue. I'm not going to argue. Kwame, about Kwame, no, Kwame. Yeah, I'm let, not let him, let him get it out. No I'm not going to argue. Let him get it out what he's date. trying to say because it, it definitely it definitely put listen, things in perspective. What, if he lying, <laughs> it's definitely going to come back to him. Listen to me one second. I'm not going to argue about no date because I may get the date wrong. This is over 15 fucking years ago. But the gist of the story is. You can look at this nigga behavior. I did not change my story from back then to now. This bitch ass nigga told the coach to take me out the motherfucking game because I would not sign with his agent. Now I said this over the internet. Why this yeah. pussy ass nigga ain't sue me yet? I'm telling you, I'm not gonna argue about no date. I'm not gonna argue about no none of this no, shit. No, 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 you need to. Well, I'm not. You need to. I'm not. Because I you know said I, I was talking I about you in 2005. years ago. Nigga, this water under the bridge to me. I don't give a fuck. Okay, you, you okay, it okay Hold on. Hey, both of y'all so hold on. Okay, 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 let me, let let me, let me ask you a question. Why did hold you on, let, me ask, let me ask you a question real quick. Kwame, 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 let me ask you a question real quick. Okay, Gil. Yeah. The date really, the date really, Um. okay, whether he said it was 2005 or whatever, the bottom line is, did you or did you not do that? No, I did not do that. Man, I'm so gonna, you, I'm gonna tell you, you I'm going to get, get my bro, old I'm, agent. I'm going to get my old said, agent to get up the paperwork for he filed agent what? tampering charges against his agent. And we're going to ask where that came from. But what, is, uh, uh, ears, what the fuck does this my agent have to Kwame. do with me? Kwame, I mean, you not your Kwame, agent but boy. Yeah, I'm, you not, you I'm not it. even this big client, yeah. nigga. I'm like 20 on the list. Let me ask you something, though. You literally did say that you did do that before, though. No, you know, I did you not say you. I did do that. I even asked all my teammates on that video I did saying that. Gilbert is a crab in the barrel. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Gilbert, you on video saying I might have done that. You I just, might have. You literally said, I, you know, some shit like that. Uh, I, 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 I did that. I did that. Yeah, that's, it. that's the same thing as you did it. Nobody no, that didn't do no, some shit no. like that. Gonna say, I might have done some Ears. shit like that. Ears, hold on. He when did. he first. When he do it look like I don't acknowledge shit? If I did some shit, I'm going to say I did. That That's shit. what I'm saying. Fuck you about had what this shit. nigga's you, crying about now. But if I don't remember I did it, it I'm going to say you, I could have. I'm going to give him you, the benefit of the doubt. You at, had acknowledged it. At, at, at the end of the day, man. At the end of the day, I got. I'm from the hood. I'm from the cheese line. I got twenty five million dollars right after I said fuck Gilbert, fuck the team. If y- I told Ernie Grunfield to his face. If y'all gonna let this bitch ass nigga, they came to my house. He even told the story. The way he told the story is that he was drunk and this and this and that. But the real story is I told the president of basketball operations 
and the GM. Y'all can kiss my motherfucking ass if y'all gonna let this bitch ass boy tell me I gotta go sit on the bench when y'all want me to guard Shaq and every goddamn body else. Fuck Gilbert Arenas, I'm not coming. That's what I told them to their face and won't nobody sue me. Okay. Won't none of them sue me. Then they trade me to a team, the Lakers, where Ernie Grunfeld and uh, the GM or the president of operations, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Gilbert? Tommy Shepard? No, not Tommy Shepard. I said of the LA Lakers, the one that's now gone from uh, the LA Lakers. I have no idea. You I don't know the guy. They, I they traded to the Lakers and know who works for the Lakers, bro. Okay, well, Ernie Grunfeld, Ernie Grunfeld, and uh, what's his goddamn name? He used just to make up the one. They not you lie about everything else, Excuse me, sir. I wasn't talking. Just say, to you. Just say a name. Nobody gonna remember. Okay. Nobody gonna know. I'm, I'm gonna look them up. I'm, don't worry about it. Hold on. Let me get my other phone. And look them up. Cause the two GMs they got a store in DC together. Ernie Grunfeld and this guy got a store together. He was president of the Lakers for over fifteen, about, about ten years. And he got white hair. He tall. He used to play ball. They traded his ass away. Uh, but. Now hold on, what team? He, he supposed to be signing some players right now. He went to he he controlled the basketball operations over New Orleans Pelicans, I think. Right now, who was there before that? Who was? Oh oh, uh, Cupcheck. Conley? Mitch Cup Mitch Cupcheck. Mitch Cupcheck. Go look this up. Mitch oh, I'm Cupcheck. looking at it. Mitch Cupcheck and Wizard. Excuse me, sir. I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking to you. You want me not to get this information out? Ernie Grunfeld traded me to Mitch Kupchak, which is his business partner outside of the NBA. They own stores together in DC. They own a chain of stores together across America. So Mitch Kupchak, when I first came there, he treated me like some shit that he, like he knew me. So I'm telling him like, motherfucker, you don't know me. Why you treat me like that? But I was supposed to go to New Jersey with uh, for Kenyon Martin with Jason Kidd. But they never wanted me with a pass first point guard because they saw what happened when Brevin Knight came. Gilbert Arenas was injured when Brevin Knight came. And then when Gilbert Arenas saw what me and Brevin Knight was doing, Gilbert Arenas came back before his injury was even healed up. That's why he probably got all these lingering problems and can't walk. Because he don't like nobody to get no shine other than him. But go look up the business partners, Mitch Kupchak and Ernie Grumfield, and you will see how 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 deep this river runs with them fucking with a bus. Ears, brother, I don't know what none of that fucking shit is. I can tell yes, you this though, yes, he do. was traded in July, two thousand five. This article was done October third. They traded me to his business partner. Why they ain't trade me to the New Jersey Knicks with Jason Kidd? Man, I was a duck all over your goddamn face. What do I think I should have do with me? They traded me. They traded me to business partners like cattle. That's why I don't hang around no niggas. Hey anymore. brother, they, I don't. I can't answer that. That's why I don't hang around these motherfuckers. They Ernie Grunfeld called his homeboy that they in business with, and they traded me to the Lakers in the same situation with a nigga that act just like Kobe. I mean, just like MJ. Bless the late great Kobe, but he acts just like MJ. Study, watch MJ's playbook. They trade me to that team when I wanted a pass first point guard and not a good pitch like Gilbert. I, hey, um, I thought I was being here. a conspiracy theorist by 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 thinking that, but I noticed that. Uh, get, let Gilbert uh, get something in. Go ahead. When, when LeBron want a player, LeBron get oh any player. Oh my God, nigga, we've heard you tell that story a hundred times. Let, let, him, let him get one. Let him get one in. 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 Let him Go Not ahead, Gil. Go That's ahead. A smart man, right? It's a different story. They heard about Miss Cupcheck. It's a different story. Oh, I'm not, oh, okay. I'm not gonna let you say that's the same story. That's a lie. Okay. Now, let him, let him get, get, let him get in. Let him get. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let him get it, but I'm not gonna let him lie. I'm not gonna. I got, I got you. I got you, but just rebuke it. You know what I'm saying? Let let do it. Oh, uh, you know, let knock it back and forth. You know what I mean? Cause I don't want motherfucker to say he ain't get to get his word in. So let let let. I let, mean, they gonna say that anyway. Anyway, ears. Huh? They gonna say stuff they gonna like say that. that shit anyway. hey, bro, I know, I know, but y'all gotta let me. Y'all gotta let me be me. Y'all gotta let me. I'm, I'm a listener. 
I'm not I'm contesting. I'm not contesting nothing you saying here. But if you yeah. you're not gonna say that, you a fool. They gonna say that regardless. I already know. I already know. But we gotta, we gotta leave. We, we gotta leave. As, as the audience, we gotta at least hear it so we can make our decision. But That's what I'm man, saying. As a man, so I'm a, I'm as, a, as, I'm, as a man, though, as a, we can't let the nigga say it's the same thing, though. We can't I understand. Add, I, let me ask you I this. Get it. I let me ask get you this. It. Did you hear me say Mitch Cupcake name any other time? No, I didn't. Then we can't let him say it's the same thing, then. But we gotta at least let him tell his lies so we can, so you could debunk it. Okay. If if he's lying, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I at least want to hear it. He at least want to hear it. I at least want to hear it though, so he can't put it on video. You know what I'm saying? But say what you're gonna say, Gil. Um, you remember that story he just told about what he told the team and the president of the Wizards and told the all them people, "Fuck you" and all that. Right. Right. You remember that, right? Right. Now, if you were signing him to a contract, ears, are you gonna give him the eighty million he's asking for? At the time, I would have. If I get if if Tyson Chandler got it, yeah, I would have. Whoa, 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 whoa! After he just said everything he said to you. Oh, you talking about that particular team? No, but oh, I would have probably. Got remember, I probably listen, listen. I probably would have did the same thing they did. I would have did a deal with somebody I know just to punish him about it. There you go. And that's what they did. I, I went his, from hey, hey, I went from Queen Regina. His behavior. Is why he got a $25 million. It was his behavior. No, bitch. It was your behavior. It was your behavior. All right. Okay. But, but you did you did you mention that you pussy sabotaged. pussy ass couldn't handle that. You he that your you ass sabotaged. didn't show up. You, you did hard. mention that you sabotaged his career, though. Yeah. You did say you sabotaged, you sabotaged it. No, no, I didn't. You said now, that. Were you involved with the, trying to take the music from most Spears, Mr. Renas? No, ma'am. Okay, because I thought you know, I got him on Texas. I got him on. No, Texas. you don't. Is, okay, he's Texas. lying. I ain't talking while you talking though. I got him on text message saying otherwise. And because he would I, be trying I, to sabotage yeah, your YouTube. And I got him on text message sitting yeah. at the casino. He knows exactly who KF is, and he knows he spelled the email backwards. He sent me the text about it. <laughs> Did nobody initiate a text with him saying anything? But Gilbert hey. Arenas on video. Ears. Yeah. ears. So he was ears. trying to... Uh, Queen Regina. Hey, hey, Gilbert, I'm sorry. I, 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 I got your own Queen. video. I'm, I'm sorry I was the number one draft pick, and I'm sorry every girl you pay, I can still get. You bitch-ass nigga. Ears. And you were wrong for doing that girl like that, you simp-ass boy. You know you're let, wrong. Let, let him ask his hey. question, Corey. You know hey, you're wrong bro. for that shit, though. Hey, no, this, this is personal. This is personal between me and him. You wrong. Well, I, got, I already know. A, I already that know. That girl ain't did a motherfucking thing to you, but because you a little bitch. That's Kwame, what you hey, Kwame. You wrong for that shit, though. I'm Kwame. Gonna you talk, but you wrong, nigga. Kwame, you know, Google is a hell of a thing, bro, and I want to read some, some stats to you. Because you said you played. You played with a... A point I guard know the white boys that emailed you some stats, but we talk no, no, about no, 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 nigga. I'm on Google. We I'm, talk on, about I'm on Google, you. sir. I'm on I Google. I don't want to hear nothing about no stats. No, when you need to. DC, did you tell the coach to take me whoa, out the game? Whoa, 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 buddy. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Did you tell the coach to take me out the game? Nope, I did not. Man, and no, and no other teammate will back up that story. But you did they, 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 didn't say no. You didn't say you might have did that. That you need more rope. Hold they, on. Did Eddie Jordan write on the board that Gilbert Arenas, because I'm going to call it time after this. Did Eddie Jordan write on the board that, you know, he he just a little bit of a problem, but some people need more rope. Did he put yes. that on the board? Yes. So why was you such a problem, leader? Because I'm a problem. Why are you a problem? You both be the leader of a team. I'm not a Shut up. We were both the youngest well, niggas on the team. I was. You the hundred million dollar man. You've gone on several videos. I was 66 million at sir, the time. Okay, so. You was a $66 million man. You went on interviews saying, everybody got to bow down to me. Did you not say that? What? No, I did. When? You Show me that. Said, every, you said, he the little nigga. I'm the big nigga. Everybody got to listen to me and respect me. When? So, you hey, you even, you even came on what's name and said that when you was on uh, All the Smoke. You said, when I came in there, okay. you was like, everybody, fuck, you are like, fuck that shit, nigga. I, I, this is my team now. We ain't passing you the ball. You ain't getting the ball, nigga. This is right. our shit. Right. Oh, whatever. Hold on, hold on. As the leader, 
Hold on, leader, Gordon, hold on, Gordon. Hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me, let me speak from a fan. What a leader supposed to be. Leader hold on, Gordon. Let me, let me speak from my own fan. Okay. From a side hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I heard you say. Hold on, hold on. This ain't for me this time. This me. This me. Hold on. I'm gonna let you ask. But this, this me from looking from looking as a YouTuber. I heard you say on all the smoke that when it came down to the ball, when you got there, it, it was supposed to be Kwame Brown team, but you're like, nah, fuck that, this my team. I'm the nigga with the money. Nigga, you, you, it's, it's about me, nigga. It ain't about no money. Uh, You know more in so many words. Did you not say that, though? So from you were pretty much saying that man, From a 40-year-old man looking back being funny, yes. Back then, we were the two youngest niggas on the team. I was no leader. Larry Hughes, um, Stackhouse, those... Christian Leitner, those were the old vets on the He's team. He's a goddamn I not, liar. I, <laughs> what? It's a lying ass nigga. Let, 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 let him finish. Kwame, let him finish. Let him finish. Kwame, let him finish. Kwame, Kwame, let him lucky, Kwame, lucky for me, I'm on Google. So, it's me. Let, I'm 20 years old. How old are you, Kwame? 20, right? Christian Leitner, how old is Christian Leitner? How old is Jah Jahadi White, Chris Whitney? All these guys are the, the veterans point. of this team. Get to the point, though. So, so I was not a leader. We're both 20. I did not say that then. I'm saying that now at, at, at 40, being funny on what's the name? I didn't say that shit when I was 20 years old. You think I was going to say that shit with Sackhouse on the team? Come on, stop. You did say but you that. Did say, so, you did me, say that, y'all. You did say that y'all were the, the the ones making the most money. So goddamn, you know, this is my team. At it, you forty know, years man. old, I'm saying that. Looking man. back, man, this no, is yeah, funny, you, man. that's how you felt. That's what you were saying. That's how you that's felt how at I the feel time. Now, when you the looking back, he was the number one draft. You wasn't. Uh, you wasn't the number one draft. So you was pretty much saying you was coming over there, and it was your team now. Damn, you know, kind of uh, fuck uh, one more. Again, ears. It's from. Today version of me, not then, not the twenty year old kid. The but you was acknowledging what you was acknowledging, yo. You was acknowledging hey, what hey, you were doing. Let me, fill in, let me fill in the blanks here. Let me fill in the blanks here. Yeah. So you don't need to time. fill in the blanks. It's a lot. It's a lot. Just a fucking liar. The reason why he tried to overtalk me, it's a lot that y'all don't know. And you notice how he tried to go back to his age and all this other weirdo shit that that don't got nothing to do with nothing. Even you picked it up talking about get to your point. This bitch ass nigga came in the locker room talking about this. Yeah, he gave it up to Jerry Stackhouse because he knew Jerry Stackhouse would have punched him in his goddamn mouth. So he said, this is me and Jerry Stackhouse team. That's how this nigga do it. He tried to big boy, little boy niggas. And if you notice how he- Big boy, on, little boy niggas were the, were the youngest on the team. <laughs> hey man, I hey, you know I'm what? Saying, you know, ears. I muted my mic because ears kept telling me to be quiet, but I don't see ears telling you to shut your motherfucking mouth. You know mouth. what? Ears. I ain't talking I'm, about I'm you talking. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get a. I'm trying to get a balance. I'm trying to get a balance. I'm trying to get a balance, homeboy. I ain't trying I to be biased. I just want to. I want to hear. But listen though, every time I'm trying to make my point, he's interrupting for a reason because he know I know this bitch ass nigga. Now let me get this nigga on video and stop letting this nigga interrupt me. This nigga okay, interrupting go ahead, me go right ahead, when I'm about to make the point. Y'all don't get know this bitch ass nigga. I know him. Get your point in, but I, we we also want to let both of y'all get the point. Like five that nigga don't make no point. It's five minutes versus one minute. That Why nigga is not. It ain't no five minutes versus one minute. It's every time I start talking, this bitch ass nigga start interrupting because he know I can fill in these blanks for y'all. Stop letting this nigga interrupt me, man. Go ahead. That's all this nigga know how to do. We ain't here to talk about no motherfucking age, nigga. We talking about what the fuck you say. Now, that's everything you say is on some bullshit, nigga. I learned right from wrong as a kid. Now, now it's all this noise in the background when I'm speaking again. Well, I'm going to mute the mic real quick, again so uh, he can finish. You go ahead and finish up, and then he going to uh, respond. Yeah, niggas don't respect the real no more. I see why niggas go to jail all the time. Because y'all let these bitch-ass niggas do all this talking. This nigga is the fakest nigga I know in the world. The fact of the matter is, this bitch ass nigga come to any team. This nigga don't talk like that about how old he is. Now, which one is it? We gonna go off of what this nigga said, or we gonna go off this nigga age? This nigga keep moving the goalposts. 
oh, I only said this because I'm 40 now and this and this and that. No, nah, fuck all that. That nigga said what he said. He said I'm a bitch. He said this and this and that. He said I'm scary. He said all this shit. Now, does it make everything he said null and void? Now, which one no. is it? We ain't gonna hold this nigga to no standard? That nigga's a fucking liar. And he know he caught. That's a buck dancing little boy. And he was always up under white men. Because he know a nigga that ain't got a lot of education, that grew up in California, that all he could do is dribble a goddamn ball. That nigga ain't smart. He talk how they tell him to talk. Why you think he don't never step out on his own face? That nigga don't believe in God. That nigga don't believe in nothing. All he believe in is money. Because he know it's going to get him pussy and everything else. Y'all looking to a, y'all listening to an immature ass little kid. That all he like to do is play little immature games. I'm a grown ass motherfucking man. Now he got all this motherfucking money. Why don't he sue me? I know how this shit work for real. I was supposed to go to the New Jersey Nets, but they knew it was gonna be Lob City. So I got traded like cattle from one homeboy who doing business. They got a clothing store in DC together. Every motherfucker from DC know what I'm talking about. Ernie Grumfeld and Mitch Kupchak are business partners. And I got traded to the same situation that I was in. So don't tell me what I fuck I don't know. LeBron James get every teammate and every player he needs to make himself look good, don't he? He got players that, he got people that was his friends that turned into motherfucking ass, don't he? Because it was cool to be the number one draft pick when LeBron year. But see, when it was time for the NCAA to worry about their money, we're going to smash all these young niggas. Because it wasn't just Kwame Brown. There was about 12 NBA players out of high school my draft year. We was killing them niggas that's going to school. When I said this black boy magic shit, I meant that shit. Niggas can last 18, 19 years in the league. LeBron at year 20. They don't want your motherfucking ass in there that long. So they're going to suppress certain ones and they're going to exalt certain ones. And they'll give them every motherfucking thing they need to make them look like they somebody. Stars are not motherfucking born, they made. And when niggas like me that ain't supposed to be in a situation that I was in, they didn't have no motherfucking outlook from a nigga, from a manor house line, nigga. 18,000 is what I come from, nigga. The fuck you talking about? Why you think a bitch ass nigga talked to me like that? Why you think he talked to me the way he talked to me? Because he don't think I deserve it. And I used to break niggas like that face in real life. I earned this motherfucking shit. And that pussy ass nigga right there, he was giving this shit. Um, I'm did, done, y'all go. Did you all know that Bill Russell, um, he transitioned today, the NBA? No, I didn't know that. I, I seen somebody putting R.I.P. Bill Russell. I thought that was, I, you know, people be just saying shit. Damn, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm. um, that's why that nigga ran. Because he don't yeah. want to do all that motherfucking talking. That pussy ass nigga was giving this shit. That nigga don't know nah, what the he, fuck he, he, like. He right, any other, he right any back here. A nigga like that will get these little boys in prison. That little playful ass, dumb ass attitude. Fucking with people all the goddamn time. If that nigga couldn't score as many points as he scored, he'd be in prison right now. That ain't no motherfucker you model your kids after. Playing and joking at 40. This nigga don't know nothing about real life. If your kid ain't an NBA superstar, you bet not let him follow that dumb ass nigga. This is about real motherfucking life. And he just exposed some shit that wasn't supposed to be exposed. All of these motherfuckers are connected. Ernie Grumfeld, all the owners, all the media, all the motherfuckers connected. How the fuck I you think I went from one business partner to the next? I, I ain't gonna lie, I spotted that shit when it when it happened. I was like, hold on, why would they? But you know, I, I ain't on the inside, so I couldn't see that. I mean, I ain't know all that. That nigga a straight up hoe. All he wanna do is do all that fake ass, nice ass talk. Cause he know a southern geeky nigga like me 
gonna goddamn get activated. And when a nigga like me get activated, everybody look at that, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. ooh. No, nah, stop playing with grown ass motherfucking men. And if you ain't got a man that's gonna get activated, you ain't got a fucking man. Especially when you know a nigga playing with you all the goddamn time. All this nigga do is play too goddamn much. Everything ain't a fucking joke. Yeah, I do remember him, you know what I'm saying, on uh, all the smoke podcasts, and he kind of was admitting that shit, nigga. When he got there, it wasn't nothing. Yeah. These stupid ass fake detail motherfuckers. These motherfuckers, y'all motherfuckers talking detail, then the president wouldn't be the president. You motherfuckers don't look up nothing. All you motherfuckers do is go along to get along. You scared of your goddamn uncle and your sister and your friend. Motherfuckers always talking about they do some fucking research. If you did research, how the fuck the president became the president then? want to go viral so goddamn much it's people dying because it's a stupid motherfucker that want to go viral it's people in prison right now because it's a stupid motherfucker that want to go viral we have lost morals and respect because we want to go fucking viral that we will play with somebody and get them riled up at their at, at their expense just to be fucking funny and then when that motherfucker get on your ass now it's oh that's the bad guy Whatever happened to respecting a grown ass man? Grown ass men acting like fucking cheering and then talking about, oh, I'm just a troll. Well, every motherfucking old school nigga I knew would have knocked out every one of you trolls. Because grown men don't like to be fucking played with. Um, Kwame, did I hear you correctly <laughs> that you had an opportunity to make 80 million? But after he did what he did, you got 25 million. Everything I'm saying is set in stone. Yeah. He can talk about not, See, the media does this little media, look away media. thing. See, that's a lot of money. money. You're, you're absolutely right. See, what the media does is, they does this little number one draft pick. They'll mix in truth mm -hmm. with a lot of lies. So if Tyson Chandler, you can go look this up. He got $60 million on five points excuse me and five rebounds so there's nothing else less than that for me coming my way mm -hmm. i was the number one draft pick he was the number three pick so nothing less based on what he got is coming my way other than 60 million mm -hmm. wow no, and, this no, on, and this is being on cruise control so the little mm -hmm. seven points that they talk about seven points and five rebounds that's still above Five and five, mm -hmm. and this is going to let you play the minutes now because you were going off like when I seen when Joy had got out the way and he and Gil wasn't in the way. Shit, you was going stupid. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, what they try to do is block certain people from the money. Mm -hmm. So when that, you get yeah. the money, they can't mm -hmm. play with you certain ways. Mm -hmm. So they block certain people from that type of money because they know. Certain people not gonna bite that apple and not gonna play. Mm -hmm. You got 80, 90 million dollars. Boy, look at I don't give a fuck what they say. You something to deal with. Mm -hmm. So I've been getting attacked my whole career. So listen, wow. regardless of whatever number they tell you in the media and me being the number one draft pick, here's how the business side of it works. There's a player who is the number three pick named Tyson Chandler who got 60 million on five points and five rebounds. So it's not a bad thing that I was a number one pick now that he got that. Mm -hmm. Because my stat line was higher than his. So when lawyers get involved, we ain't talking about motherfuckers that's worried about the entertainment side of things. Mm -hmm. There's a business side of things. So from a business side of things, you paid this guy who was the number three pick on five and five, 60 million. 
you're going to pay this guy that has seven and six or seven and five 80 million because he's the number one draft pick mm -hmm. and we're still working off potential correct mm -hmm. so Gilbert Arenas enters the picture Gilbert Arenas agent is Dan Fagan Dan Fagan is known around the league to not to be the most savory guy he does agent tampering and he controlled that little bitch Gilbert and Gilbert told the coach I'm in his way, his exact words. Then they come to my house and try to get me to come back and play. I told them, I will probably choke him to death. I'm not coming to practice because I got to keep taking care of my mama. And if I see this nigga, I'm going to kill him. I told them that. Hey, so hey, Quam. they Quam. go to the playoffs. Huh? Quam, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know all the ins and outs. But this was clearly sabotage in your. In, I'm, I'm, this this has been your career was sabotage. I don't care who knows it, and they know yeah, that, was, that was clear. That's why I wanted him to explain what you're gonna say. It it ain't about it. We believe in that. I just want him to put it on record, uh, his accounts because he actually telling on himself. But he's he 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 fifty-five million dollars. It's gonna be right. hard for you to sit and listen to that man tell lies. Yeah, right? but y'all want but, me to do y'all want me to do things that I know y'all couldn't do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I, I think I wanted him to I wanted him to tell on himself. Drop the well, link again. The man, the man ain't gonna tell again. on himself on the panel. He telling now, he he's on himself, but he think he thinking he making sense, but he actually telling on himself. Cause all the thing from all, all y'all gotta do, everything I said was factual. He trying to look up numbers, and even the numbers is telling on itself because Tyson Chandler did have five and five. And I mm -hmm. did have like seven and five or seven and six, which is more than five and five. So what, I was what, the color, what color is Tyson Ch Chandler? I don't know these people. Yeah, like Tyson skin like a motherfucker. He what? He tall and light skinned. Okay. See, I, know, I know why they did me like they did me. It's gonna be in my book, though. Mm -hmm. Ears, uh, uh, no chill. Gil said, "Drop the link." That's what he said. I'm just telling you, baby. Uh, I got, you I know, got you. Uh, uh, you kicked me out. You kicked me out for a second. Hold on, I'm coming back in. But all, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is look up what Tyson Chandler got paid, mm -hmm. and then it ain't no less than that. For it, I don't give a damn what number you say the pick was. You're I already did that when he said it last time. Yeah, it's like it's like the real estate market. If a house sell on the block up the street for a higher number than you thought that your house was worth, then that boosts the value of your house when you can sell. Especially if your house right. is bigger. Right. And I was bigger than Tyson. And then at, at that time, Tyson Taylor wasn't that good. He didn't get good. To, he didn't get really good to the end of his career. At that time, he wasn't really that good. So that's that's my point. So check it out. When you're not the number one draft pick, there's no spotlight on you. Just like Gil. There was no spotlight on Gil. But I watched behavior of Gilbert Arenas that he could never be a number. He should have been the 40th pick. If you take it outside of basketball, he shouldn't have even been in the league. He was just good enough to be a jackass. And that's his biggest problem. He jackassed his way out of the league. And, all, and, and that's all they do. That's why they got to over talk me, try to be your friends, do all this other shit. For 20 years, they ain't want me to speak. Because mm -hmm. Disney, all these motherfuckers are tied to this shit. When have you ever seen an NBA analyst going to high school and college? Why nobody wow. ever answered that question yet? Mm -hmm. Wow. Name another draft pick that had an NBA analyst at somebody's college or the high school. Name anything. Nah, you can't do that. Throughout the NBA. Ain't Name nobody in the NBA that that happened to. Nah, that ain't never happened. That, that, that's the only time it ever happened. That's what made me suspicious because that's the only person that I've ever seen happen to. I'm trying to tell you what they tried to do to me. They tried to steal all my money. They I'm sorry, go ahead, Queen. Boy. Listen, they thought I was me? a white boy. They thought I was like these white boys. White boys lose their money and they go hang themselves. They tried to steal my shit from me and thought I was going to kill myself. They trying to erase what they did. Why you think they won't let me talk? Why you think all of them, they don't invite me to their show. 
Ain't no major network. I called out names and they know these people. Do you think any of these motherfuckers asked me, what do you mean by World Wide West? What do you mean by MJ said this? What do you mean by Stackhouse did that? They don't ask me nothing on no major network. They trying to bury that truth that they know the fuck they did. Hey, Kwame they Gil. scared of these young kids. Kwame Gill said that's why he go to Skinny Channel, his palette. That's what he claiming with. Me. I don't give a fuck what line. Gill is saying. But he that, Gil know what, saying. Gil know what I'm talking about. The reason why Gill is here now is because somebody sent him. Yeah, I agree. I agree. They know what the fuck they doing. Just, just it's, to, it's, it's right here. Your face. Me, I, I got kicked yeah. out of her. Yeah. Yeah. It's right here. I mean, it's right here in your face. Anybody How much money they say they stole from me? Fifty-five million. And so, fifty-five million. Am I dead? No. no. So, how many white boys you know that lose their money and they kill themselves? A whole lot of them. A lot of them. So they try to bury you alive. And guess what? Now they can continue their story. Mm. Every story that you ever would read about Kwame Brown is a negative story. Kwame, I'm so saying, they had to, uh, no, they want, listen, the they, wanted the to, they, they wanted to finish their trilogy because they could talk mm. about me forever then. Wow. When I came to the internet, it fucked up their plan. Ears to the streets doing what he just did. Fucked up their plan. Look at what they doing. They mad as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You right. Because that's a lot of money to steal. And then you you were sold like cattle. See, I've never Go heard find, you hey, listen, that. Hey, Queen. Yeah. You know you got research skills. Yeah. Go find a positive interview about me coming from the NBA. I yeah, you ain't gonna find that. I haven't seen my Kwame. I've been, a part, I've been a part of the Kidney Foundation. I've been donating to breast cancer. I built the damn recreation department. I got the key to my fucking city, and ain't none of them report on that. But I he bet you every time I every time I went to jail, they reported on it. Didn't yeah. They? Oh, yeah. Right here. I was I was hearing about that in jail, and then I would see you like one game it was in particular. You had like damn near forty points, damn near twenty rebounds, and damn near ten goddamn block. I'm like, ah, damn, the Kwame was going off. But they showed MJ going for like six for thirty six. I'm yeah. like, ah, damn, why they ain't highlighting this shit? Hey, I like the man the I, hey, listen, I was the player of the month for two months in a row. They didn't highlight that. They say, they didn't oh, highlight yeah, that. he's the number one draft that. pick. He's showing signs of his potential, but he hadn't reached his potential. He ain't lying yeah, about I that. I used to be like, why, why, they, why they doing all that? I'm like, damn, the man playing good. Why they ain't getting him in recognition? And it took me a while to see what the fuck was going on. I go down to Charlotte. I go down to Charlotte. I did what I did, right? I'm talking about, Hope oh, ran up on me act like he wanted to fight. I knew better than the fight. This is a one-year oh. deal. Oak that man like did. Listen, Oak act like he was going to throw the ball and hit me in the face. Notice he never denied that. I don't lie on nobody. I sat there. I said, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. I pull him. I pull over and talk to him on the side. I'm shaking because I'm a man, but I'm shaking because I don't want to do nothing to fuck up what I know I can fuck up. Right. So I'm talking to him like, why would you do that? Man, you got to do the drill. This is a drill, man. I said, bro, you Charles Oakley, dog. And he ain't going to tell y'all I'm lying. I said, you are Charles Oakley, man. I respect you for what you done done already. You ain't got to yell at me and do all that shit to get my respect. I said, you losing my respect for talking to me like that. You Charles Oakley, nigga. We respect you already. Don't lose my respect. That's what y'all don't know. They put you in situations when they know who you are for you to fuck up and fail. So Ain't none of these niggas is. ran up on me in real life and said not one motherfucking thing to me in real life, though. I was going to ask you, Kwame, why you think that these people did that to you, but I think you just answered my question. Hmm. Hmm. But like I said, they place you... I'm sitting there the GM is laughing. The GM of a team, a black man. Your own people. Ooh. What's his name? Rob, what is it, Rob? MJ used to keep a little, a couple little bottom bitches around him. Two black GM. One, I think it's Rob. I don't know. No, it's not Rob. What's that motherfucker name? Ball head, tall black dude. He played in the league. And then a short black dude who a lawyer. 
he keep a little bottom bitches around him. So the he the GM of the team at the time in the Charlotte Hornets. And he was working with the Wizards at the time too. But the GM of the team don't even know if Oak would have hit me that day, I could have sued not only MJ, him, and the whole Charlotte, Charlotte Bobcat. But because it's a nigga saying it to another nigga, the GM of the team was laughing. He's sitting over there laughing. And I wanted to knock his motherfucking ass out. Oh, I'm talking about, it took everything in me. I saw him one day in the parking lot. And I'm like, damn, I wonder if I can run up on him and knock his ass out real quick and nobody see it. Because they play with grown men. And the only thing I can think about is, nah, I got kids, man. I, nah, I ain't finna do them like that. Because they looking for a story. Every time Kwame Brown drove fast, fell over the sidewalk, did anything, it made TMZ. I, I drove and I sped in a car. I did 160 next to a motorcycle. I remember that. I remember reading so, that one. So by the time the story got sent, I was driving the motorcycle. And when I got pulled over, I said, oh, MJ gonna kill me. So fast forward to LeBron James doing the exact same thing I did. LeBron James said, it's a fast car. I sped. I apologize. So what, it's, 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 why would they make it that fast or something like that? I'm paraphrasing. But go look at what happened when, Le when LeBron got pulled over for speed in his rookie year and what happened when I did. And you tell I me if stars are born or created. I read that article. It said you was uh, racing a motorcycle, the one that I read. Some of them said I was on a motorcycle. Uh -oh. Anytime I got arrested, anytime I got pulled over, uh -huh. anytime I got everything, it made national news. Well, where are they now, Kwame? Where's who now? Where's CNN and TMZ, all these motherfuckers now? Another thing I had noticed when they, when you had that bullshit accusation out in LA, they put that on ESPN, which is scrolled across the bottom of the screen. But when you got acquitted of it, you ain't hear no sign of it. Exactly. Nope. I told you, they destroy your character. And guess what happens? People treat you a certain way because they taught people something stupid. Perception is reality. So if somebody, if someone perceives you a certain way, they're going to treat you that way. So they got people coming up to me, playing with me in real life. So I had to get quiet. Because I, when you just because you can do something don't mean you should do it so imagine how much restraint it requires being my size knowing what i know and can do what i can do and gotta listen to somebody playing with me with wordplay that i know what you mean but because you think i'm some celebrity you can play with me like that imagine how much restraint that takes So Kwame saying all that, and I'm just asking, because in my opinion, I, I think the man going to continue doing what he's doing. It's sad, but it's true. Uh, do you think you'll ever do business with Gilbert Arenas? No, because he won't be honest and correct his sin. All he does, and I got text messages to prove it. All he does is when you call him on his behavior, he talk about how much protection he has to keep doing his behavior. They're all his life. And what's going to happen to a Gilbert Arenas one day? One, I, I text him this, and he can tell you. I said, all clowns fold when left alone. Because he's a clown. And when the people around him realize that he's a clown, and when you back those people into a corner, and they can no longer protect him, when he left alone, he's going to fold. See, he don't talk about how much a bad motherfucker he is. He talk about how much a bad motherfucker the people he know is. And they protect foolishness in this world. I told y'all from the beginning, I said, depending on who the person is, they will look the other way. And Gilbert is so dumb. I got so many text messages in my phone with him speaking about judges and attorneys and, and people in D.C. to L.A. and wherever else that allow him to keep up nut-ass behavior. He proves my point every time he talks behind the scenes. Y'all are not as free as you think you are. This yeah. shit is a simulation. It's yeah, a game. he proves a lot of points by even talking period shit. That's why I be wanting to hear, hear what he gonna say because he proving it by goddamn what, how he try to justify the shit. I'm trying to tell you. 
he's in that group. I'm telling you, a man that's in the NBA that can move around like this with reckless abandon, reckless abandonment, he don't care about what he say. He just go to his baby mama and tell her, bitch, you're going to be selling pussy after you I finish paying for the kids. What wow. stand up righteous man that they'll label a Christian that they'll allow say that? Hey. This is an open court record. He's proud about saying this. And then it's very weird how, you know, all the stuff he's doing as far as on uh, Mr. Shitty Panel and all that. It's, it's weird perfect. how uh, Fubu, or Fubu, however you pronounce or whatever, is wild how they'll still allow him to be the Fubu face of they. Sports, hey, bro, Fubu Sports is not bigger than that group. Sure. Nigga, Fubu Sports is that group. Thank you. Allegedly, I think yeah. I snapped. Yeah, you that, tell group, you. that group is the biggest thing in the world now. Show sure him. I see yeah, that. Yeah, he in that group. He telling the truth, ears, and I'm gonna leave on that note and let I you. Be, I, I believe it because I, I hear him. You know what I'm saying? I, I see what they allow him to do, so it got to be something up with it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, everything I say to somebody else as an NBA player, they 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 put me in my place as a former number one draft pick NBA player. This is that. Now Gilbert is a three time All Star. They give him the accolades when when they saying that. But they don't say he's attached to a person that's saying fuck Lucas. They don't never give him the uh the attachment of him sending ten thousand dollars to a page that said fuck Lucas, which is a death sentence for everybody. And they know about it too. Yeah, they know about everything I say and do. They know I say something on my page, it's gonna make CNN. It's gonna oh, make yeah. the people. <laughs> he's a three-time all-star, he's bigger than me. So why don't he get a held accountable for what he say? Pistol exactly. through your throat. Exactly. He's in that group. And if I respond to that group, then they'll worry about, I told y'all the scenario. You elbow a nigga on the court, you run down the court with your hands up, act like you don't know what's going on. The person going to get mad. He's trying to get me mad. The person going to get mad, and he going to retaliate with your back turn. And that's what the referee see. See, I'm not going to let him walk me into that. That's why I asked him, head up like a man. You going to come over here? You want me to fly you in? You coming by yourself? Oh, no, no, no. I ain't coming by myself. He telling y'all what it is. These bitch ass niggas hide in groups. That's all I said this whole time. They want to make me the trading and coding guy because I've been saying too much. These bitch ass go along, get along gang niggas hide in groups. They the loudest niggas. They the most toughest niggas on camera in front of everybody. But when you tell them, hey, man, get quiet. Leave that shit off camera. Keep it out of the media. Now bring your ass. No, 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 no. I ain't with all that. They not going to ever do it. Ears, thanks for giving me the pleasure of mounting your panel. Uh, I'm going to continue to support the right thing and what's right regardless of what who say. I can't be bought regardless of what they tell y'all. And uh, I'm going to let you know everything I know. That's all I got to say. Love you both to the moon. Kwame, you already know. And Sister T going to let you guys handle it, okay? Right. All right, now. Anytime, Sister T. I, I've been trying to get back in there and screen y'all so I can bring this weapon back up here. But, you know, screen y'all. I've been having me acting crazy on me. It won't let me back for some reason. You heard that, Gilbert, so you can't be saying nobody wasn't trying to let you. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to let you back in, Gilbert, but right now, scream y'all to keep me sick. Fuck what Gilbert got to say. I got, he told, he instructed Mr. Fair used to mute me. So, yeah, sure did. He, he instructed sure did. Mr. Fair used to mute me. A nigga that like he drove me for a year and a half, and I was muted? He sure didn't did. say, hold on, Kwame, pause for a second. He muted me like the nigga said. I saw that. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I thought I thought he was letting just both of y'all talk. No, the nigga got down. Gil do exactly what he just did. The worst thing that Gil want to have happen is me to talk. He don't want me to say nothing. Why you think he always yes uh, ears, yes ears, yes ears, yes ears? The motherfuckers that you know that don't want the other person to talk, they just keep staying on camera. They say things like, "Go ahead, go ahead and speak." Like like uh, you know what lady does that? I'm not gonna say her name. 
but she does that. Go ahead, you can speak. Go ahead, you can speak. Go ahead, say something. Go ahead. But she never stopped talking so you can say something. Yeah, that's how Gil is. It's a lot of pass. The new wave of disrespect is passive aggressive. These males are beta males. They like to rile up real men and then call the law. Because a real man, they going to peep what you're saying and they ain't going to like what the fuck you're saying. So it's consequences behind what you're saying. But that's no longer good in society. That's toxic until a, a woman get disrespected and they looking for a toxic nigga. Wow. Where the hell did Queen Regina go? I don't know. Everybody, everybody dropping down. I'm trying to get back in screen yard. This motherfucker won't let me back in. I don't know what the hell going on. Oh, you don't went over the time. You had seven hours and thirty two minutes. You probably gonna have to uh, just boot it down and, 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 and just start a new one up real quick, and then everybody jump on out. Oh, you saying that uh, if you if you offer the what's name for a certain amount of time? No, sometimes sometimes stream yards would be tripping. And I I don't want to sound like a YouTube conspiracy theorist. But stream y'all has been kicking me out too. But so what I'm saying is sometime when that happens, uh, your room doing a goddamn hell of a good job. And some of that could be hate. It could be motherfuckers flagging you. So they be wanting you to start a new one because some of the people not going to come over. And that's yeah. how they do that. Because especially when I started talking about them names, I probably shouldn't have said Mitch Cupcheck and, and uh, attached them to Ernie Grunfeld because that's the yeah. real thing that you can look up. Right. And, right. As soon as I, and as soon as I said WWW name on my channel, so I've been I've been kicked off ever since you started talking that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Yep. <laughs> so I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say his name again. But when I said WWW name, my page went down that next day. Because okay. those, you didn't let me back in. You can look up, and these real people they they don't want to play on the internet. They don't even want to be known. They don't want to play on the internet. They don't want to be known the way they got them move around the way they move around because people know them, but they don't really fucking know them. They only know certain people. So for me to even say their names is what made them motherfuckers. They trying to test, check my temperature. They like, look here, nigga. You know, we can take all this shit you keep on playing around. We like what you were saying that goddamn black boy magic was already uh, almost too much. But nigga, we'll give you that. Cause them women ain't listening. They still watching their daughters and shit. But cause if black women wanted black boy magic, it'd have been it'd have been goddamn in Walmart, uh, goddamn last year. So no black woman like their sons seem like I don't know. Cause some of their sons are amazing sons. They get drafted. They go to the military. They do all these things. But there's black girl magic. But there's no black boy magic. So I'm starting to think it's all about girls. Because these little boys are violent, in my opinion, because they don't get no recognition on nothing. Even when they're football and basketball players, they still look at like that ain't nothing. You're right. Yeah, I'm trying to start a new room. <laughs> yeah, you done spoke some goddamn names that wasn't supposed to be spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, ask him, ask, ask Shit. Ask, ask, ask Hannah. He trying to come back up and goddamn say something. Yeah, ask Hannah. Well, I know, I know, like you say, shit. I mean, y'all stories do a line, but and what he's saying is he's pretty much telling what the, the what he did, though. I remember him saying what he did on the, uh, I forgot who platform that was. He know he said it. I know what he said on All the Smoke. Can y'all hear me? Y'all still there? You still there? I, I'm here. Okay, y'all can still hear me, but uh, I think Kwame done. I don't no, know I'm if right he here. didn't check that. I'm right here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can y'all can y'all hear me or uh nigga you can't hear us? Can y'all still here. hear Kwame? Everybody hear me. Kwame, Nobody you still here? Yeah, I'm here. 
Oh, you can't that hear me damn thing. Oh man, fuck ears to the streets. I just want to tell y'all, ears is lying. I don't know that nigga. I ain't go to school with him. I ain't never met him in none in my life. Okay, well, it done froze me. I, I'm going to have to start a new uh, live. Y'all just hold tight real quick while I start a new live. Hold tight. Nigga, it's my show now. Now nah, let me stop. <laughs> Y'all hold tight while I start a new live because something going on with this one. I don't know if it's because of what being hey, said. I don't I know if somebody done did it. something or what. I can't wait for you to hear this last part, nigga. Y'all hold up. I'm going to start a new live. Since y'all yeah. can hear me, I can't wait. I can't hear nobody. I can't hear Fuck Kwame. You, I can't hear nothing. You can't hear me? Fuck you then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's my dog. Too. He took care of my life, and I'm fucking with him like this. Hey, I'm, 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 one I'm, second, y'all. Y'all can hear Kwame. Kwame, go ahead and hold down the show for me. Yeah, I hold down the show. You saved me from Ronald Jones, but I'm gonna act like a bitch ass nigga real quick. I'm, this this is my bitch nigga real rendition. This is my big bitch nigga rendition. I can't even talk on this goddamn Mike Tyson. God damn. I can't even talk on this goddamn shit no more. But anyway, hey nigga. Fuck all that, man. I, I got a lot of beef with you years now that you ain't here. Fuck all that good shit you were doing, nigga. I'm act like these other distractors, nigga. You got them, you brought all this division and shit. You wanna hold people accountable. You want to make people hear what they said out of their mouth? I mean, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you, B? You want to goddamn stop people from throwing I'm up? I'm almost done, y'all. I'm coming. Man, stop all that motherfucking you, you know what I'm saying? Shut the fuck up. You want to goddamn hold people accountable for throwing up signs that they threw up? Like, who the fuck you think you is, bro? For real, though. Like, my nigga, you don't control nobody. Who the fuck you think you is, God? You want to sit here and goddamn... Thank you, God. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, if I'm, I'm going to throw up whatever I, I want to throw up. I'm grown. I paid for that throw up. Bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Your teeth fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Teeth to the streets. You know what I'm saying? Drop a bag. Drop a bag. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit, man. You shouldn't be bothering people and making them tell the truth and holding them accountable for shit that they said, bro. I'm talking about real talk. Real nigga All right, y'all, I almost got it set up. Hey, man, you need to shut up, dog. You know what I'm saying? Real nigga shit, dog. Only for real, dog. You trying to hold niggas accountable and shit like you are our daddy or something. Nigga, where the fuck you come from? You know what I'm saying? Where the fuck did you come from, bro? You want to come all in here, act like you went to school with this nigga. You don't even know this. Nigga, say one more thing about bus life. Say one more thing. Where you come from with this shit, bro? Man sitting here jack down trying to got let us all eat and shit and then it slowed down for his views so we still gotta eat and shit. So now uh, chat let like me know something is uh hey man what the fuck you talking about hello man this joker is not letting me in scream y'all for some reason y'all ain't even let me start the new live this shit crazy <laughs> oh man what the hell Kwame done said y'all man get your ass off Kwame got the whole motherfucking goddamn hey, bro. Hey, can you hear me, bro? Kwame cutting up oh, let me can, shut up there can you hear me bro Kwame roasting me oh shit I'm gonna roast the hell out of that nigga when I get on I'm going to listen to the playback, woman. <laughs> y'all can hear me, but they won't let me back in goddamn scream, y'all. That's crazy. It won't let me get past the part where you, uh, where it say you enter in the studio. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Hey, y'all hear me again? Hey, can y'all hear me? Hey, this nigga I want to end it. I can't end it if I can't get back in it. Hey, can y'all hear me though? Can y'all hear me right now? Cause he can't. If he can't end it, I'm gonna keep going. Goddamn it, man! Fuck, fuck, Sister T, <laughs> fuck Queen Regina. He talking about my wife. <laughs> Bobby Brown. 
You bought these people into my life. I'm a sue you bitch. I'm so thankful that I found somebody like Gilbert Arena. <laughs> he real. He bought me a car. He called me. He talked to me. <laughs> he took me out to Hawaii. Allegedly, I think I snapped. He hey, man, I'm saying way too many smiley faces, boy. This nigga must be talking shit about me. <laughs> I ain't talking about you. Shut up. Shut up, here. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about him, Hawaii. You brought these people into my life. And then the next day, you know, the bitch ass nigga calling the motherfucker 67 times. Ah, uh, shit. I got her and get on. This nigga clowning me. Man, I'm not clowning you, man. Shut up. <laughs> hey, yeah. I'm doing what you did for me, bro. I'm, I'm goddamn holding down the show. God damn, man. Can you let me finish what I'm doing? And then give it old goddamn stupid ass. All, hey, look. Hey, Chain Gang Punk, you got to be stupid. That man said you was a low-level YouTuber. He said you was a you a nobody. I was over here talking to nobody. And now you think he like you? You man. are nobody. I was over here talking to nobody. Hey, man, and man. now you think he oh, like you? Man. You are nobody. I was over here hey, talking man, to nobody. Hey, man. And now you think oh, he man. like you? Hey, you are yeah, nobody. Man. I was over here talking hey, to nobody. Man. Hey man, now you think you like you? I'm trying to hold down the show ears. You fucking up the show. Yeah, mute your show, man. Let me goddamn. I'm trying to hold it bit down till you get back in. Goddamn. <laughs> you did it for me? Shit, that was my bad. Here. I ain't noticed that I had it unmuted over here. I was trying to still hear. Go ahead. Oh, back in. I can hear you, you on my other phone. Oh, you can hear me now? Hey, you can hear me now? Oh, shit. I can't talk about him no more. So shit. I got to oh. listen to you on my other phone, but I'm still talking on the one that I'm live on. But screen y'all won't let me come in on my computer. Okay, so I can't talk about you no more. So, shit, I just go back to talk about uh, the dummy. Uh, I can't talk about ears. He can hear me now. I can't talk about his ears. So, okay. Let me get there talk about this dummy. Hey, dummy. That man don't even fucking respect or like you. Boy, when that nigga heard I was going to OnlyFans so he couldn't get no content, that nigga texted me all night. He gonna be the king of YouTube with nobody to fight. See, see that stupid ass boy Gil needs somebody to fight. And when he don't got nobody to fight, he get fat. He get stu I got that nigga getting in shape. That nigga say, Quam, I lost nine pounds. I got this bitch ass nigga working out. <laughs> hey. Bitch ass nigga, I should have cussed your ass out last year, you fat Gawala Bear looking dummy. You talk about my wife? It's a goddamn panel full of rejects. I'm talking about man. And that lady with the dog, lady, I'm sorry for talking about you, but I'm gonna send Peter. I'm gonna send somebody over there at that damn dog. There ain't no need for you to have a dog and and you that ain't. I think you whooping that dog. And that's just my opinion. I don't, I don't really, I don't really know if you're doing it, but I think you whipping that dog, and I got the right to my opinion. Every panel you came up on, you were strong as hell. I'm talking about strong as a motherfucker. Now you shouldn't be mad at me for saying you strong, but every panel you came up on, you were stronger than what I like. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Hey, block that motherfucker that said so. Uh, Moore's Acres. Somebody zap Moore's Acres for mentioning shit in this chat. Moore's Acres. Y'all get him the fuck up out of here. Or oh, I'm going to drop down and get him up out of here. My, oh, no, I can't drop down. Because then I ain't going to be able to get back up here. So, yeah, drop down Moore's Acres. Get the fuck on. Get the hell on up out of here. We got him. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. You back? He is, you back? Oh, he just he just got that bitch ass nigga up off here. Yeah. I'm setting up the other nigga. live right now because uh it's let me in, but then it kicked me back out. I don't know what the hell going on. Man, they finna get on your ass. I shouldn't have said no real names on here. Sister T hauled ass when I got down uh Sister T hauled ass when I got down a few names, cause Sister T got down. 
shit. But these names I'm talking about, real big people. Yeah, so this ain't nothing to joke with. I think that's why a lot of these niggas jump ship because uh, they realized that, damn, we thought this shit was a joke. We could just make some money. And then they found out that this shit wasn't no joke. They contacted these motherfuckers behind the scene. Anybody they think that know me, they putting women's pictures up on YouTube. And YouTube seem to be complicit with this shit. They ain't saying nothing to nobody. It's several people that ain't been on YouTube that they can put these people pictures up, all kind of shit on YouTube. When have you ever seen that happen? YouTube is complicit with this shit, in my opinion. I ain't never seen no shit like this. Where if you like one side... Yeah, that's I crazy how they'll let, all, let them do all kind of shit, but the slightest little thing we do, boy, they gonna flag it. Yeah, they gonna flag the goddamn shit out you. I, I can't even play a nigga audio, but they can play mine. Hell, I seen the wabbit with the wrench. He played damn near a whole uh uh Mr. Shitty goddamn um uh, thing. He ain't worrying about nothing. What'd you say? What you say here? I said I seen the wabbit with the wrench. He did a um a reaction of how the whole thing started with uh Queen Regina. And shit, he played it off Mr. Shitty uh, platform and shit. It wasn't like he was worrying about anything. Oh no, they all in the group. And if you if you play his shit, it's over with. And he might disguise it as, oh, that's cause you talking shit about me. He said he don't believe in doing that. He said he believe in that everybody being whatever. And using your content. But but when it's everybody who talking about Kwame, Mr. Fair Use, all of them got free range. That's when I knew Fair Use was one of them. When I saw him using his shit, I said, oh, yeah, he wanted them now. Yeah, he wanted them. That's why I said, oh, hell no. From what Gil is saying and what I'm watching with Fair Youth doing, let me block my whole channel off. Let's get all this shit up out of here. Yeah, let me get all this shit up off my goddamn page. Them niggas think I need this. They got me fucked all the way up. Let me block all this shit off my page. That nigga played that man shit with no problem after talking about him for a year. Talking about fair use. Yeah, you didn't do that wrong. Nobody else. No problem. After talking about him for a year. Talking about fair use. Yeah, you didn't do that wrong. Nobody else. No problem. Yeah. Then next thing you know, Gil on his panel. I, I say, oh, these niggas think they slick. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and delete all this shit. Let me go ahead and then. They so mad at Queen because she the type to make sure she's thorough. She going to race all them bitch ass niggas off my goddamn page. Yeah, we ain't doing none of that. These niggas got them turncoat. It ain't just about no disagreement. When have you ever heard Fair Use have a conversation with me? That nigga ain't have a conversation with me not one time. All he been doing is bitching and moaning from his page and wherever else. He ain't have no conversation with me. Try to draw me to his page to have a conversation. As soon as I had a conversation with him, he throw Gil on the page. After he been texting me all motherfucking day. When they telling me that, hey, don't, don't jump people on panel. But he throw Gil on the page right after I, I get on talking to him. And the only thing he want to talk to me about is what you and goddamn Queen Regina saying. So the nigga really don't got no problem with me, but he just do the same shit that everybody else do. So no, I knew that nigga was one of them. Soon as he was playing that nigga video, I said, yo, you can play skinny video. Oh, no, I knew that nigga one them. I'm telling you, soon as he played that nigga videos, I said, man, I'm getting all this shit off my channel. Uh, yeah, all this shit is gone. That night there, I said, yep, change gonna come. Yeah, change gonna come. I threw one person away from me. And I blocked everybody off my goddamn channel. Everybody. All right, y'all. I just started the new live or whatever. Y'all can go ahead and go over there, and I'm going to try to close out this live. All right, man.